How you doing, John? Uh, you look as bad as I feel. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Raise a hand if you can hear me, John. Oh, shit. They took a finger. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, John fucking Wick. So, the old boy keeps his hotel and you take the fall. Can't say I blame him. I would have done the same thing if I was in his shoes. But this high table shit. Seven cuts. <laughs> Under the table is where shit gets done. And they're about to find out if you cut a king, you better cut him to the quick. So. I ask you, John. How do you feel? Because I am really pissed. Is John. Are you? everybody three black geeks we doing it we doing it john wick three parabellum parabellum is black i think it's the same but I what does but, hold but, on, hold on, hold on. Answer, <laughs> but to answer you know but to answer your question <coughs> um, what does that mean excommunicado that is more like if it's if it's a former friend you give that nigga an hour you give him an hour before all hell breaks through Get all your affairs in order. Try to survive. Whatever you need to do, I cannot help you one hour from this moment. At the end of the hour, ejecto seat. I think I think it's amazing to me how John Wick one, two, and three takes place over a span of three and a half weeks. Yeah, that, yeah, three and a half um, weeks. Yeah. Also, but also, you know, another acceptable answer of excommunicado would be, I don't know, acting like you're too good for fifty thousand dollars uh, to do a podcast and you screw two other people. We're out not of going there. into that shit. Get no fuck the SP. No fuck that. That's not. That's not excommunicado. Oh yes, it would be. That's, no, that's that that's stupidity. That's what that shit. No, is. no, no. First off, first off, Eris, the excommunicado. That means you were, you were in the club in the first place. All right. Uh, the three of them all are right? actually friends. That, well, I ain't gonna say friends, but they. No, they, no, they have no. Hey, Eris, hey, Eris, hey, Eris. He's the, hey, those Aris. are the only two that that motherfucker. Not actually even trust. Close. Not even. Hey, Eris. Nas has friends who are gang members. Only two of them go in his house. So what are you trying to like? I'm... <laughs> anyways. Anyways, going back to this. Anyway, these movies, these three movies, anyway. take place over a course of three and a half weeks, and it's insane. Because the thing of it is, it ex Keanu Reeves as a person, like he's been with this franchise throughout all four movies, right? And you can will. you can see he can't, the, he can't leave. <laughs> you can see point. his his age catching up with them with each movie. And by the time you get to the third movie, you excuse a lot of John Wick's movements, his slow movements, because it's like, nah, this nigga been on a hundred from day from the first movie and never let up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah never, think, he's never know, let up. I don't think he. I mean, no, hand to God, that's what he did in the movie. The slow moving judo chop. Yeah, and it's like he's his character. His character never let up. The only time he had time to really breathe was when, after the first movie in John Wick Two. He gets his car back and he struggles to get it back to his garage. Buries all his shit back, puts a submit down, gets back in bed, and he only sleeps for like two hours before fucking old boy knocks on his door and was like hey john you're back in the game blood de blood debt let's go and it's like, I'm like the fuck this nigga only I'm got two not, hours the <laughs> only time john like, had no, any reprieve I, in any of these movies was were the flights to go kill someone 
<laughs> well, or, or, like, or, no, or or as I like to call <laughs> the fast travel. Or, the fast or, travel. Or also, after after him and uh, after him and Common br- busted into the fucking damn hotel, and he had to, they had to be stopped. That's the only time he had a break. <laughs> well, yeah, anytime he he walked into the Continental, he had a break. Yes, he did. But because this movie, that, you know, that's the whole thing. You're not supposed to get on Continental grounds. And guess what he did? He killed on Continental grounds. Three. I, and I love it. I, and I love that John Wick three because most movies will bullshit the ending of the f- set of the end of the previous movie and find some bullshit reason for why the third movie opens. Nah, this one opens immediately after the end of the fucking damn second. So this, but the only difference is John only has twenty minutes left in this one. That also being said, what I also love about this movie is this: you see Lionsgate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, nine, 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 31 seconds the movie starts. Yeah. It starts in 31 seconds. There's no wide shot. There's no going through some CGI tunnel. There's not his, like you're going through the tunnel of the gun and nothing like that. There's Lions no, Gate. there's Lions no Gate. big, no. All you got was like oh. a couple of coins flipping. John Wick Parabellum. Movie starts. There you go. That's what John, I'm talking about. Like John, like John Wick and Lionsgate is what Golden Harvest is to DVDs of 2001. Mm-hmm. The moment you see that Golden Harvest logo, you know you're in for a great movie. John, I, I said 20 minutes. I said 20 boom. minutes. John has 30 minutes, and he's like literally running around New York, and the homeless guy's like Tick Tock John. TikTok John. <laughs> TikTok John. TikTok. I like that's how he a, broke. No, he. That, no, the one, best. Uh, the best part is he, is that he broke character. He's like, yeah, man. Like I told you, man. The government's trying to take your guns away and all this other stuff. TikTok, Mister Wick. No time to dilly dally, Mister Wick. <laughs> I love. I love how he went into. La, 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 la. And then he went to his regular crazy dude. He played the the. Uh, I've got. Oh, God, I forgot his name on, on fucking Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Over the, yeah, yeah. TikTok, Mr. Wick. <laughs> and we, we found out later on. I was on like, that's my favorite Greek. How you doing, nigga? They let we, you in this movie? And we find out later on that he works for the Bowery King. The Bowery King has homeless people on lockdown and stuff, you know. And, so. and you know what? It also brings up. Yeah, I was he put them on. Like, yeah, he put them on. He put them on. The one thing, and, and it, it, again, we talked about it when we was talking about the second one. What I loved about this one is that you start having more questions because the action ain't start yet. All you heard was TikTok and all that. And I'm sitting there like, okay, first off, let's just think about it. There's a network of bums, all right? And you're thinking to yourself- They get like, food. They get they guaranteed get three three hots in a cot. <laughs> also on top of that, they, they run guns, anything else in the city, all the rest of that shit. And I'm thinking to myself- This is just New York. Can- and that's like just it. New York. And the best part is, like, he, like, the Bowery King doesn't really go off of monetary shit, none of that shit. Hey, Bowery King, he have, hey, Bowery, hey, look, man, I need, I need money. I can have a million dollars today and have a million tomorrow. What you want? Like, he's one of the, you know he can do it. But he, like, I'm thinking to myself, like, how big of a fucking world this is. And then I'm thinking about the whole little thing where you see all the pinup models. <laughs> And a little switchboard and all the rest of that. And my wife mentioned, notice how everything is analog in the motherfucker. Everything is not no hard. Like they're using computers that were obviously IBM's made in the 1980, 19, in the early 80s and shit. You know what I mean? These clack, 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 clack type of uh, keyboards. They still have Everybody's old school clack. filing cabinets. And like that's what and, my, and, and Angie made a good point. You have their assassins. Of course, everything's analog. You this think shit. this shit's going to be digital? If, if the government sniffs it, burn it. Now. That's what I'm saying. You need something like, oh, that's fucked up. You think they ain't got a button where something sprays out and all of a sudden everything? Fu- Come on, man. On some Nino Come Brown, on. New Jack City, burn it. It then it hits me again. I was thinking, like, think about it. That's a whole ass. That's a whole ass hotel where it's nothing but a sass. <laughs> Yo, here's the thing. Like, Wick has what? Th- like, this is America. This is the real world. What fucking world is this? Wick I has, love it. I love Wick it. has thirty minutes. The bounty's at fourteen million. He's like going through New York trying to figure out. We figure out like he's trying to get a taxi to go to the library. The taxi's hitting New York traffic. If you've been to New York, typical. Uh, oh. <laughs> he tells he basically tells the taxi cab driver, which has me questioning how the taxi cab driver know about the continental. He's like, "Thank you, Mister Wick," and I'm like, 
The only reason whoa. why I say that whoa. is because it's something I noticed again. Notice that that taxi looked different to all the other taxis that were on the road. Hmm. If you notice it, that was an older older model taxi uh, taxi that they used back in like the 80s and the early 90s before they switched over. Makes sense. Yeah, that one looked older than the rest of the taxis. Now, the fact that he knew it was Mr. Whip, shut the fuck up, Chris. It's a goddamn movie. But he knew it was him. <laughs> the dog goes back to the Continental. Wick has to go to the library. Now, bear in mind, he gets to the library. First assassin comes up. Uh, who's what's what's the player? The NBA player? I don't know his. By, I never know that nigga by name, man. I just know he's tall and got a big East Europe, Eastern European. Bobbin, Bo- Bobbin, like, it's Ernest. Bobbin, Bo- Bobbin, oh. Marjanic, giant and Eastern European. Um, he goes where's to he John. From? Where's he from though? Where's he actually from? I, I really wanted to always know that. He is from Serbian. Serbian, right. giant and Serbian, yeah. giant and Serbian, Bol- Boljevic, which is in Eastern Serbia. Yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. So he meets up with John. John opens one of the uh, Russian books that has a couple of coins and his wife's picture and a necklace, cross necklace. Puts the coins in his pocket. <laughs> we'll get takes to that. It. Yeah. So looks at his wife, kisses it, puts the thing, and all of a sudden, Ernest comes out of nowhere. Hey, John, kind of collect the bounty. Hey, dude, I got like 20 no, minutes left. The fuck? No, 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 what does no, it matter? No, no, no. Chris, Chris, Chris. It's very simple. John knows that he's on borrowed time. He doesn't even give a full introduction. Just a simple earnest. Yeah. I still have five minutes. No, he's going to notice. <laughs> he said 20, but you remember it was 20 minutes and stuff. He's, well, no, it was 10 no, minutes. He's, yeah, it was 10 minutes. He was 10 like, minutes. Still, it's like, I still got 10, 10 minutes. What does it matter? Like, who's going to notice? Well, I'm sure, you want to do this? Well, dude, when you're asking so, hey. when, you're, when you're asking somebody who has a solid three feet over you, are you sure you want to do this? Also, 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 wise words like, would say, you know what? Let me let me take a back step. I like the fact that John Wick had a book like this, about 300, 400 something pages. Hard cover, sir. About the size Hardcover. of the Godfather. Yeah, the no, the, shut, the, shut the fuck up. About, the the point the is being of, made. About the size of the Godfather script. Yeah, Let's you know, you know, no. And this is what he said, Chris. It'll do. That's what he... <laughs> Yo, first off, I saw a guy look at a video of this fight, and he said the first mistake Ernest did was take out the knife because most people that got knives surprise you. Ernest took the knife out, and Wick immediately was like, oh, no, I can just. I said that nigga play basketball. He can't do nothing that is not already telegraphed. But okay? also, but also <laughs> I, look, I have seen, yo, John killing somebody with a pencil. Cool. That's that's dope. You know, he 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 he. You know, slice somebody up with, with playing cards. He broke cool. a nigga down with a with book. The Shining. He took the book of The Shining and broke somebody's Dude, whole life up. When he no, took, the best no, part he, was when he, he stood grabbed, his head up and did slam <coughs> down like that's my man. Like, my man grabbed the Old Testament hardcover bruh. edition and went to work and the said, I, "No, he he said, and I quote." I'm going to pray for you as he snapped his jaw. Off Bro, when it. he did this, bip, bip, kink, I'm no. like, yo, oh, whoa. Oh. No, take another book off the shelf like this. I hate Ayn Rand. <laughs> now, look, 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 I'm look, look. like Ernest. I'm sorry, your first name ain't be Ernest, but you're about to hold this Hemingway. I need to be real. Here's it. Look, hey, Chris, Ernest, here's, no, Ernest, when you said that, here's it. I don't think the, I don't think the joke connects. I don't think it connects to what you think it connects. First off, oh, I'm gonna be God, real. That was oh. that was a terrible, terrible pun, but I'm glad I used it. I feel John Wick. He opened, give... a, nigga, he opened a nigga's mouth, bop, clock. Uh, took uh it sir, out, sir. Put his head that was, down. That was that was that was six pops and then bricks the jaw for good measure. And then now, said, now, I don't now. want you to come back for John Wick 4. Exactly. Pinky. I was like, hey John. John he was dead John, already. John, 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 see the man's see the man's mouth is broken. You don't need to. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Can you're you being imagine? thorough. Can you're being thorough. Okay. I, 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 that's I really, why. He, that's really, why he's Baba Yaga. I really, yeah. I really, I really got to point it out and say, uh, sir, you did some uncharted shit with that book. 
I mean, that shit that you that that's some Uncharted three stuff where <laughs> where you know whenever Drake fights a dude that's like two times bigger than him and he has to snap his neck uh, one um, way or sir, another. Sir, 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 if this is Resident Evil four remake, uh, that book has like this much stamina left before it's gone. <laughs> Nigga, he the durability par- of that durability, book. The book durability <laughs> was that shit uh, had this much left after he after he broke his neck. I was like, damn, John, any more more that book would have been split in half. My man took the book, put it, put it right back, back into place. <laughs> Let's be real. Yo, the next person that gets that Russian book was like, why the fuck is there blood on this goddamn book? What the hell? <laughs> Why is there blood um, and no. drool? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, um, sir, um, the book I got beside this other book that was actually it felt hollow, it has a lot of blood on it. What do you mean? You want me to step in this room? Okay. I mean <laughs> like also John, um, John Wick okay. <laughs> also not to come, you know, I, I'm really not trying to complain about this book. I mean, first of all, there's like a chunk of the pages that were all cut out and yeah, it smells Serbian, all right, sir. Uh, hello, ma'am, ma'am. Um, there's a there's a seven foot four. Um, I'm going to say he's like Austrian or something. He's like on the floor. I'm there's blood. Uh, call nine one one. I don't have my phone on me. I don't believe in phones. <laughs> It's New York. It's New York. It's one girl. It's that reminds me. That, re- <laughs> that reminds me. That reminds me. Chris, the best part when Ernest was getting uh, the upper hand on John for like the first thirty seconds. I like how he's beating up John. John is screaming. My man holds him and goes, "Shh, <laughs> you're in a life. <laughs> Only tall people with large ass hands can do that shit. That's that's scary." That's some Chief Mendez shit. Bro. I like that. Look, they're like, hey, yo, Ernst, give him, <laughs> to give him a tr- look, to give him the big cheese. First off, first off, how'd you like, <gasps> how'd you like the, how'd you like the big center that plays basketball that never did martial arts a day in his life swipe that he took at that nigga's head, just like Kareem Abdul Jabbar did. <laughs> Oh, Bruce Lee, this big old lumbering swipe. Like, notice how Chris ain't look. Ayers, notice how Chris ain't talking because he's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, that nigga tall. Yeah, Dude, I'm short next to fucking Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! You're normal. It's so no, no. How great would that be, Ayers, for you to see somebody that towers, Chris? And that almost the, the smile on Eris's face is one of satisfaction. And here's the best part: everybody's like, "Is there a beef between Eris and Chris?" No, he just doesn't like that Chris is so tall. Y'all have to. There are dynamics of this, 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 this friendship that is over here. There's dynamics to this, all right? There's dynamics to these two, all right? It's, this right it, here, th- this right here, this is full nap of Vegeta. Okay, there, there it is. Except I'm not, <laughs> except I'm not stupid and I don't get killed. Ah. Yeah, except, except I tell this dude, I'm like, hey, yo, Chris, tag out, dog. Ta- no, <laughs> you stop. know what? You done. You, you done. Know what? You know what? You're right. My knees is hurting. So you I'm like, no, 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 no. This more. is. The, I would tell you. I'm mad because now I gotta step in. No, this is what I happens. gotta finish this shit. Here, look, here's Eris. Here's Chris. Ah, see what? No, no, what? No, the fingers. See what I did, Vegeta? Here's Eris. Mm. It's Sunday. Those builders would have been. <laughs> Too bad uh-huh. Sunday, those buildings would have been full by tomorrow. No, and you, know, you got to say it like how you get mad at Chris about it. It's like, you think you did something? Nigga, it's Sunday. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> no, no, your ass actually, up. no, no. For Chris, I would have said it's like two. Nah, it's like a, it's like nah, one work. No, 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 no. See, first of all, first of all, that whole city was completely evacuated. Somehow they knew we were here, they that we were coming, and they just evacuated everything. So Chris, Chris just blew up a whole city block of nothing. So John get the 30, first 30 seconds, the Serb nicks John in the artery. And we, we find out from the doc he got nicked by the artery. Because John, after he puts the book back, was like, hmm, something hurts. Fuck, he stabbed me. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, funniest moment before we get to the next part. I love how the dog gets to the Continental and Sharon was like, hey, buddy, want to come on in? Come on in. Just, just come on in. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you mention Lance Riddick, sir? Yes, Lance, Lance Riddick. Yeah. 
I wish I will evolve. I wish I will evolve. Where's my iconic slave role? Hey, motherfucker. I wish I would love all Britain. F*** all y'all. F*** all y'all. Warp speed don't rainbow read me, nigga. Ah! Hey. Hey. Yeah. Um, rainbow real, read me, real, nigga. Real quick, real quick. D, that clip. Do you got the other one when he pounds the desk and says, I cut desk. it. See, the reason why, because number one, we only have a finite amount of time to use any yeah. type of clip. So I didn't want to use But the that wasn't short. It was shorter than this. Actually, the whole clip is two hour, two minutes long. Yeah. And I didn't no, I'm clip, saying you, and I'm I didn't saying think when I did it, I didn't that I what I'm saying is I didn't think to clip that part. Yeah. Because because That's I actually true. really did forget how much you did. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I, I don't know why you love that so much. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> good. Lance, Lance Reddick, to me, he's a character actor. Yeah, that that's was really shit good. I would do anyway. Um, yes, I, I've seen him uh in The Wire as 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 as, as Cedric. He's really he was really good in that show. He yeah, was he in was Oz. Good. He was in Oz as uh I forgot the name of the prison what? guard that he was in that. He wasn't he like an informant or like he worked at the jail and they found out who he was and they stabbed him or some shit like that. Something, something like that. that. Somebody else, man. Yeah, but but him being Cedric Daniels in The Wire was like perfect because he played. Because in The Wire, real quick, The Wire, there are so many characters that hit different types of people, and he was one mm -hmm. of the cops that was like, "Yeah, I did fucked up shit back in the day, and it was wrong that we did this shit, and I want to play this shit by the book now." <laughs> And do shit right, and he's realizing like the system is just so fucked up that trying to do the shit right isn't working out like he thinks. In other words, the 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 the, the Baltimore commissioner that goes in there every every new Baltimore commissioner. Hey, look, Baltimore's fucked, but I worked here long enough. Four months later, yeah, y'all, yeah, I don't know what's happening. It's like no money. It's like they, they, like all the criminals are shooting back. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, it, it's because it, like it's and that's 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 the reason why the wire is so good because it ultimately boils down to yeah, the system is fucked up because you have so many moving parts and it's just a cycle of everybody trying <clears throat> to get up in rank instead of actually doing the work as cops at the same now, you know at the root of it, you know. Now I have a I have a quick question. Now I didn't see the third, I didn't see the fourth one yet. Y'all have, but um I've seen a couple of people kind of mad that they didn't acknowledge um they lance did. they did at the end of the movie right yeah then yeah, yeah it yeah, was yeah, like for lance at the yeah for lance and at the, and also you gotta think about it, he just passed the right white before you know what i mean so, yeah so they had to like do something they, with they had that. to kind of scramble or something like that but what is there any room for anybody to complain <laughs> about that or is this just like like add ignore it's it. nitpicky stuff that a lot of people okay. do when somebody dies you know it's like ah right. oh, you wish that they could have did this and it's like oh it's real it is. real quick Chris, you mentioned Lance Riddick on uh, The Wire. Mm -hmm. um, the Mighty Bosch. That's the other show. Yes. Well, <laughs> this is just my favorite. Are you Lance. on the Mighty Bosch? Not, not the Mighty Bosch. The Bosch. The, ones on, the one on Amazon Prime. Oh, Bosch. This, Bosch, yeah, Bosch, Bosch. The yeah, Bosch. Bosch. This, this is my personal favorite, Lance Riddick. I want to help my dad, but I don't know about The Wire. Are you really? The Wire. It was the best show ever. Mm, it's no bones. Well, nothing's bones, Kevin. That's a goddamn masterpiece. <laughs> I guess the only way to prove my dad's innocence was to try the wire. At least give it to season two, episode 12. That's when Lieutenant Daniels takes his shit off. You'll be like, how can a man be so skinny and so ripped at the same time? If that don't take your dung dumplings to the disco, I don't know what will. <sighs> Agent Lance Clappers. A yeah, Lance Riddick as Agent Clappers. There are, there okay. Are let me make it very clear. Let me make it very clear. Me and Eris don't like that show. He's the best fucking thing in it. And the fat guy. And the fat one. And the fat guy. He's I don't know. No, I don't like the last season of the show. Other than that, I love no, seriously, because I love Paradise uh, Paradise PD. I was done after season three. Hmm. I was done after season one. Good for you, nigga. I struggled through season two. I uh, yes, they were like. There's always going to be two. <laughs> this show should have ended. Type of jokes, you know what I mean? So I made it as far I, as no, I. Could I agree. 
I agree. I made it as far as I could, yeah. Like, and, but the reason why is because just on real talk, and people can get at me for this, I didn't buy into the Bill Maher um, animated show like this, so I owed Eris that. I didn't, I didn't watch Bill Maher's um, show for whatever reason. I just didn't. But anyway. So, so, so uh, John makes more effort for family. Not Bill Maher. Not Bill Maher. Bill Burr. I'm sorry, Bill yeah. Burr. God damn it. So, so, so um. Uh, uh, Wick makes him makes makes his way over to the key master. Oh my, my bad. The doctor. Um, the key master is it really? Yeah, the key oh. maker. Key maker. Key maker. The key maker. So that really is him. Look at this nigga. Oh shot. It is fucking hilarious because John is like, hey doc, um, you got about a minute left. All right, I'm halfway there, son. And all of a sudden, he has to stop. As soon as it hits that hour, he stops. And Wick is like, I guess I gotta do it myself. So Wick finishes. So Wick finishes right. So he gets up, and he was doc. like, "Yeah, the uh, pills are up there for this." And all of a sudden, the doc was like, "Ah, shit! I told you where the pills are." Well, you're gonna have to shoot me because that's the only way they're gonna believe that this happened. He's like, "Yeah, just shoot me here." We said above the rib or whatever. Um, I think it was no. He had yeah. to make sure he had to make sure not to nick the artery. No, no, oh, yeah. no. That was when no. he shot him in the neck. He said, don't he like, raise my neck or was, so he don't hit yeah, the Yeah, he was artery. like this. Make sure you get it between the <laughs> lower... Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> you motherfucker! Right, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One more, one more, one more, one more. One more. And I loved it. Because you see him straight up doing this thing. All right, so when you do this shit, <laughs> I want you to... Ah, motherfucker! Good luck, John. <laughs> I'm like, dying! I'm like Mr. Wick. <laughs> Good luck. I gotta be honest with you. In the world of assassins, in the world of assassins, it's a smart idea because otherwise, the high table would be like, "You help John put a bullet in his head." <laughs> it's like, I hate to be that person. I hate to be that person. But if D was the adjudicator in this, I would have said, "Where well, Mister Wicked? I don't know where he is. He shot you twice, yeah, and you're talking, yeah, <laughs> kill him." Kill him. <laughs> Slice, slices through it. Kill out. him. Kill him now. Kill him now. Kill him now. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> so, John. And yes, I know. He'll pull out like a figurine. No, no. I'm protected. I know some bullshit like that. I don't know. You know how this movie is right now. Look, look the John Wick world is full of people that owes blood debts to each other and is protected <laughs> somehow. <laughs> 1964. What? I mean, 1964. <clears throat> I mean, let's be real. Yeah, like, like I mean, let's be real. Like you said, CJ. Everybody and everybody apparently under the table. They all run off of IOUs, <laughs> bruh, bruh. Because we'll find out later. Holly Berry apparently owes John her life because, yeah, you say my daughter, and I can't know where my daughter is. So I don't do it. Don't do it. Remember what? Remember what I did. You helped my mom, John. You got two minutes. <laughs> it's always some crap like that. <laughs> That's why I'm saying, yo, when fucking D and Tony popped in the jaws door two hours after he just went to sleep, it's like, God damn, dude, this nigga just got to bed at five o'clock in the morning. You knock on his door at seven o'clock in the morning. Like, hey, John, heard you back in the game. Let's talk. I'm like, I'm like, first of all, that was just that was personal. I'm not actually back. Yeah, I know I said it. I know I said it in the first movie that, yeah, I think I'm back. I, I was caught up in the moment. You know, this little this little Russian piss ant, you know, he killed my dog. You know, the last remaining hope that I had, that ray yeah, of sunshine Tony that I had for my dead blood, wife. Blood pocket and, watch. <laughs> it's like, you know, nah, no, get that shit out my face, man. Like, look, I, I, I'm out, okay? I'm out. Hey, right? that's, how, that's why he got his house blown up, because he told that nigga no. John, I, John, I really know. like no, 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 like John. You, you really want to say no to this? Staring back in Spanish, <laughs> Portuguese. I'm not really sure what I am in this movie. Was that French? I don't know. Either way, <laughs> now, here's, here's where it gets. Now here, here's where it gets interesting. Now, in Argentine. I feel Thank John. You. John Wick <laughs> repulsed in South America. Repulsed in South America. Yeah, be real. I feel John. We're John Valverde. <laughs> I feel John gives Steven Seagal a run for his money when it comes to the diverse amount of ethnicities that he fucks up in movies. Because I think John has hit the gamut on There's everything. There's a reason now. Hold on. Keanu gets to re- get away with it for only one reason. Keanu, who has played a Hawaiian, uh, a Californian, a Texan, 
uh, a Texan newly from England, uh, someone from England. He's played in New Zealand. You know, he's played a, a, a half white Japanese person, a half white Chinese person, a half white. I will give Keanu Reeves this. He's still white. So go on the saying, on the hand, no, I was part of Native tribes as I was too. Show me the ways. Let's so he gets let's, away with it. So, so Keanu be, be gets real. away with it in his roles. Let's be real. Could have played a black guy until Robert Downey Jr. beat him to the punch. Ah, ah. Well, well, to be fair. I hope that's not a true. That was is that true? No, 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 absolutely ooh, not. Ooh, no, because something tells me. I'm Keanu just saying playing, the range. <laughs> the range of, of Keanu. No, this thing. Keanu was probably approached by it. He did the whole thing. Everybody liked it. He showed the next day. This is offensive. I can't do it. But no, no, no. What? Lawrence Fishburne is like my like my idol. I can't do this. <laughs> but but for those that seen John Wick Four, all I'm saying is do a move with nigga Ocelot. Okay, I heard I heard about the scene. Shut the fuck up to all the people <laughs> that haven't seen the scene. Woo! I already heard enough of that scene. And you know, D's gonna be sitting in that three hour movie. Ain't, ain't more now. That black nigga gonna show up. <laughs> Any minute now. Any minute now. Man, that motherfucker. The most darkest fucking black guy ever. Cause, cause, it, cause be Sue be knows this. It's gonna be just an African <laughs> power. Sue knows the scene where he just magically pops up out of nowhere. I was like, this nigga dark as a motherfucker. <laughs> that is the essence of black people's speed. By the power of collard greens. But nah, man, John, yo, when he takes on <laughs> this first group of folks that are chasing him through Chinatown, I fucking died because this motherfucker locks, goes up like 10 flights of stairs, locks the door, and fucking sees some guns, sees a revolver, and then realizes, fuck, it's jammed. I need to sit there and swap out the pieces. <clears throat> and the movie gives you exactly two minutes of him taking apart a gun. Crafting. Crafting. Yeah. <laughs> Full craft. Last of Us crafting. <laughs> one of my favorite lines. In, one of my favorite this, lines at all. Rick and Morty was that one episode. Like, yeah, some assholes over there doing it. Wait a minute. What's he crafting? Like, what are you crafting? <laughs> no, because think about it. He took the time, like you said, two minutes. The whole two minutes of these guys running through the city, getting to the building, trying to bust down the door, make their way upstairs. John breaks open like broke open like a glass case and started taking old pieces of of like of other guns to like just to put together his own custom six shooter one <laughs> bullet left like he did all of that just to pop one oh, guy oh, 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 no, oh, in the nick on. of time hold on i did love this part where he puts the thing up to his gun oh yeah when he puts it up, click, he's like click 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 all right perfect it's like, okay, all right. They're like the bearings are still oiled. We're good. <laughs> oh man gets a headshot. And then the fucking knife fight. This was fucking ridiculous. And this was stressful. No, 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 no. That's the wrong picture. That's the wrong picture. Dude. I was gonna see. Yeah. Do you see where I'm coming from, you job motherfucker? Yo, that whole scene. Oh, dude, you know, no, go in. Not, that, not that one. You know what got me is when he stabbed the dude in the oh well not that part was when he stabbed the dude in no, the. No, I'm head. laughing. I'm <laughs> laughing because I do have the stabbing of the head. I'm just laughing at the fact that when this when pictures came out of John Wick on the horse, Chris was like, "Y'all done gave that nigga eight, 18 defense. His <laughs> offense done jumped to seventy five. His speed, <laughs> his speed. That just, why did you give?" John a horse. First off, first off, did you well, we'll get to the horse part in a minute. I like how that sold you. Because remember, we didn't get nothing else of the movie. We just heard that they were filming. And the one steal came out. Chris jizzed everywhere. They go on a horse. He's, he's on a horse, D. 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 Yes. He's on a horse. He's on a horse. The last time we got a dude on the right now, nigga. The last time we got a dude on a horse in the city was True Lies and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And John Wicks is a little bit better than True Lies. Like, it don't uh, hit the uh, same. I, I, it don't, I it, mean, <laughs> I love True Lies. Don't get it twisted. But 
John Wick just hits different because that whole scene is just ridiculous lead up to it. But dog, yes, when he puts the knife at Deuce's head and fucking bop, bop, I'm like, yo, he's already dead. He, what do you, doesn't matter. Doesn't All right, matter. fuck. Like, I mean, I in mean, the world of John Wick, you do not, one does not double tap, you quadruple tap. Oh, he did that shit in John Wick 4. Like, God knows how many times. I'm like, he, he's dead, John. Pop, pop. I'm like, that's two more bullets you could have used, but all right, shit. <laughs> That's why you know John I, carries extra magazines. You know what? There's a reason. There's Weapon another reason. procurement OSP, sir. Weapon crafted, proc- <laughs> a nigga crafted fucking clips while he's in cover. Magazines, Chris. Magazines. <laughs> crafted magazines. Yo, I, I now. And that's the one thing that me and me and my wife we was watching this. It's like I was like, I love how this thing is he literally moves like a video game character at this point. And I do feel like when there's like a, a, a time of at least 10 seconds where everybody's doing something, he's always he's like in a pause when you well technically not pause, he's in the inventory. <laughs> oh, just like when uh when he get when we got that uh the trip, triple threat shit going down where they're like click oh yeah everybody reloading at the same time <laughs> no nah, but my man that whole knife fight statistic when, remember when John and the other dude break open the thing and just start throwing knives and it's yep. bouncing off of them I'm like no cause no what made it so great was the fight started with hand to hand until they like crashed into the next room and they realized oh shit we in a room full of knives and blades and swords and shit. They just start busting over the glass and grabbing I, knives. When the knives is bouncing off both of them. I thought that was hilarious because I feel that's so real life in the fact that when you're throwing something and it bounces off somebody, it doesn't quite work the way you think it is. I was like, yeah, they're frustrated and on I, that and one. I, and I thought it was one of those, for like two and a half seconds, I did thought it was one of those things where they messed up. But I was like, oh, they purposely did that. Thank yeah. you. That, that I mean, was cool just throwing like knives like one after another but john john with the coup de gras Bro, after he throwing, did this- like after throwing like after throwing the knives and each one landing you do not say end scene better than taking an axe both hands yeet There's- right in the head my right in the head my, my man didn't get the uh didn't didn't, didn't understand the assignment that i always say fake like you're dead don't Just cough. Do. Hold that blood inside. All oh, his mistake. <coughs> I'm like, my, yep, you're my dead. dude, my dude, my dude. All you had to do, just take a little bit. Wait, wait dude, go back. Dude, dude, oh, no, all you had to like, 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 no, do, do. All you had to do, just, just, just do this. Take a little bit of blood. A little bit of <laughs> just a little bit of that. Lay down. That's Lay all. Down. That's it. That's Lay it. down. Don't even, don't even try to. Enter the fray anymore. You are you, you my are, nigga you coughed, up. my nigga breathed and coughed. I'm like, and yeah, you're dead. I noticed that you notice that certain people that moan when they were dead, it's like, stop, uh, stop. You're like, just stop. giving you, you made give- a, you made a sound, you set off the alert, <laughs> the metal gear style alert. John immediately knew where you were, grabbed the axe, yeeted it. And you're, you're dead. A, you're a threat because he doesn't want to see you in John Wick 4. Nah, no. <laughs> you're moaning. Not Damn. even John Wick 4. I don't want to see you at all. Ever. <laughs> not, even, not even for the rest of this movie. I don't want to see you. Yes, you showed up in the first 25 minutes. No, you are not showing up any let, other time. Let me be one of those guys that just took a knife to the knee. I will be playing dead and be like, you know what? I quit. I'm going to join the army. Fuck this. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, no Carl for you, okay? You are not coming back. Your name is not Carl from Die Hard. You're not coming back in the end. My ass would join the fuck. No, fuck that. I would go to the Continental and be like, hey, 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 can I work for you in this hotel? I, I would love to do this. This is a nice, like, cushy job. <laughs> like, listen, like, listen, I, I, I made it to the Continental. Somehow I survived. I made it here. John didn't kill me yet. I need, I need a safe haven and I need serious medical attention. I am bleeding out of, of three places. I don't, I don't even want to say, I don't even want to say where exactly. Just, is there a doctor in this hotel? All I wanted to tell you is this right now. I taste metal. Um, the color <laughs> blue is like present everywhere right now. And I don't know if you don't notice there's a fucking knife jammed upon in my head. So um, I'm fearing if we take it out, that's instant death. <laughs> we, don't don't want, we don't want that. Searing pain, by the way. Don't know how I'm talking. Don't know why. 
Sorry, sorry, that was a piece of my brain dying. Don't know I, why. <laughs> <laughs> like, at, like, but at the same time, I am not. I, I am not trying to say that this is the Continental's fault at all. It, it, it really isn't. Honestly, this is all on me. I thought I could take this guy on. I was really trying to go after that that twenty million dollars, and I, you know, I gotta learn. You know, that, that, that's, <laughs> I, I am so sorry. Okay, you know, I am so thing, sorry. You know, yes, yes, have... I, yes, uh, yes. I am so sorry. I'm also bleeding on your carpet. I, I, Listen, is there you? Look, can I, I dab here, this? Look, yeah, you gotta understand. Holy you shit, that is look. alpaca. Can can I get some paper towels? You, you gotta understand. You gotta understand. You have to understand. I I grew up with nothing. All right, I grew up with, with the the assassin life is what I want. I'm dying, ma'am, and this is why I'm not making no sense. <laughs> Oh my God! Why are you not calling somebody <laughs> right dude. now? Can we? If can you we... Say, where's the African nigga that worked up here? Speaking that of which, I know he ain't African. Uh, speaking of which, <laughs> I noticed something too. I'm hurting. <laughs> John has spared two black people in the series so far. He spared Lawrence Fishburne character with the with the with the professional courtesy, and he spared Common when he stabbed him in the chest. And was like, consider this a professional courtesy. And, and, and comment and comment uh, was like and comment was like I used to love her. Uh. Bleeds, hey, bleeds, hey, l- hey, no, before no. you leave. Bleeds in <laughs> bleeds in B. Uh, look, look like this, look like this. Before you leave. How old is your mom? How big is she? Send me a picture. Peace. <laughs> Cause my man, uh, last what, week, what, 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 what? We're not talking about how Common loved the sisters, and now he just dates, you know, Sears catalog models who are like forty-four year old plus now. And but anyway, um, it's Common, he can do whatever the hell he wants. But nah, man, I just, I just come noticed on, that. Like, 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 come on, D. He's Common. One of those old women is probably giving him a good sloppy top. Leave him alone. All right. All right. Let that nigga be great. He helped Kanye become. <laughs> so John makes it to. The... He opened a door for him, D. So John makes it to uh, the director, the Russian, played by uh, Angelica Houston, and she runs a um, ballerina, like a show, you know, show and stuff, basically Russian and stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, what, yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, that, oh, oh. That... No, that was my favorite moment. It was, was just her saying that, oh. <laughs> saying to do that again because the ballerinas kept fucking up. <laughs> yeah. Side note: um, There's an upcoming movie based off of that sect from series. the John Wick world. Um, so that's gonna be it's interesting. Ser- it's a series. Oh, series. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, we mentioned actually. You mentioned that actually last year when we did John Wick too. You mentioned that there was. It's actually happening. Series. It already happened yeah. apparently. So I'm yeah, like, oh, you said okay, that was gonna shit. be. We said we mentioned the movie with that. We mentioned the series with, um, with the uh, Continental. Now, has any of that now outside Continental of the, one? Is, is that's one yet. I want to know. There's nothing yet with that one, but I know that one. The one with, I guess, a bit of the backstory with John too. Yeah, that's yeah, that, so, that's going. So John gets safe passage, but he has to basically um, his, his tattoo that was making him part of that group because this this is the same Russian group that trained John to be who he is. Essentially, and, it, and you do get some background of that because you see them walking through the school. You see the girls being taught how to, you know, be all pretty, you know, doing all, you know, doing all that uh, dance and shit. You see the boys straight up doing fucking Greco Roman wrestling, slamming the living shit out of each other and all that shit. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, so, so you John... can tell it's uh, you can tell it's like a little factory for orphan <laughs> orphan <assassin. laughs> so johnny boy gets his ticket punch and he has to they have to uh use one of those things to kind of burn his ticket so he's no longer part of that group which the ticket itself was the medallion she yeah. snatched the medallion and it, it had real way yeah and and, they, and, and 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 marked him on his back with the tattoo so basically he's done he's oh not, he's, now, with all this going, he's like, where is he running? Who is he running away from? He is running away from this motherfucker, the adjudicator. The adjudicator. Uh, wait, no. First I want to say running. No, 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 no. He's meeting, he's first going to Casablanca. No, I'm saying, no. I was trying oh, no, no, no. I know where Ares, I know where Ares is going. I'm trying, I was trying to explain that John was just trying to get out, period. Oh, uh, not, not just I mean, not out of the continental, but he's leaving New York. He's making his way to Casablanca. He has no idea 
that an adjudicator was coming to. Exactly. My fault. My uh, fault. I got that wrong. Yeah, yeah, Meanwhile, yeah. an adjudicator went to the Continental. Now, and real quick. She got a lot of... She's angry. She's, yeah, she's angry because, let's be real, Um, nothing. John's... John, yeah, John's... Now, granted, <clears throat> we said it in John Wick, too. A lot of the shit that happened to John Wick in the second film was because of D'Antoni being a fucking bitch ass because he's mm. like, hey, I want you to kill my sister. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, let me put a bounty on John so it makes it look like I'm, I'm feeling bad that John killed my sister and shit, even though I'm like, dog, you, 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 you set John up. Like, the fuck? Like, you know, but she's there to basically kind of relay, like, yeah, the high table doesn't like uh, Winston that you... um. Let John kill the guy, and Winston was like, "Uh, I did, hour. I did excommunicate him out of here, but you gave him an hour to escape instead of killing him on the spot." So, um, yeah, you lost. Yeah, your but, but, hold on, <laughs> but hold on, but like, but hold on, Chris. See, if I was Ian McShane, uh, if I was Winston, I I, I would have said this. Well, like, like, well, let's think about this for a second. He kills him, and if you expected me to kill Jonathan right here in the Continental. Wouldn't I also be at fault as well? Ha 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 ha! Because there's no guns on the continent, so well, we found out exactly. Later but you know, like, do you expect me to take him out back and shoot him? Yeah. So and I think that's their whole her whole the. You're the whole his thing. friend. We, you know, we like we have friendly conversation. Yeah, you can not as much as I can say that. Say hi to the man. <laughs> so she basically <laughs> hi gives, to the young man. No, no, no. She, she gives his ass seven days to get his affairs in order because she basically they're going to have a new person running that New York Continental. And the look uh, on his face, like, oh really? Oh, mm. Give it to me. Now <laughs> here's the one that got me though. She goes to the Bowery King. And the bar was like, the fuck you doing here? I, I I assume that we don't have to really go after the fucking uh, warrant, you know, at the bounty. I heard, I thought that was optional. He's like, yeah, well, but here's the thing. You gave the gun to John with yep. seven bullets. So you're basically partially to blame. And I like how he looked at it like, lady, ask me if I give a shit. I don't. She, can I say, like, can I say for the record? When the way that the Bowery King, who let's just be real, that's me in about 35 years. Um, the yes, more <laughs> <laughs> except it's a cat, not a fucking pig. Yes, exactly. I don't even think it would be a cat. I think that no, would it like, would definitely be a cat. No it's one, Eris. Eris, that's not a cat. It's not a cat. Yes, it would. Eris, it's a cassette tape of the single The Way You Make Me Feel My Mind. Stop it. I'm, Stop I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I know. Uh, who you are? No, D. D. First of all, first of all, you got that. No, D. First of all, you got that completely wrong. You know damn well I would keep the vinyl hidden. It would just be hidden somewhere on the premises. This the is why tape. I say cassette tape. The I wouldn't even be tape. listening to the cassette tape. But anyways, the bones of man, bubbles next time. My, man, my <laughs> man's was. You know what, Chris? Stop it, no! Chris. Chris. No! Chris. I need you. I need you to call an Uber. And I <laughs> thank you. I need you to call an Uber, and I need you to escort yourself off the premises, please. Now, when the Bowery King is, is, like, the way he describes his whole setup of, you see rats with wings, I see the internet. No digital footprint. No IP address. And I'm like, on paper, this works. Yes, How is. have you been doing this for years? <laughs> I always question anybody that, that flies pigeons. Apparently, pigeons are very, very reliable when it comes to shit like that. Apparently. And I like to say, and disease too, right? He was like this. I suggest you weed one of these. <laughs> the way he looked like, bitch, bitch, who told you to eat one of these pigeons? Like, I'm homeless. We don't do that. What are you talking about? Technically, I... Technically, my home is all of the underground of New York yeah. and some rooftops. And the one thing he did say that was very interesting, like, bitch, I'm the Bower King. I'm under the table. You, you, I don't do all that top of the table. What the fuck you mean I got to do? <laughs> she want to kill all my niggas, ain't she? All right, we see. <laughs> That's the way he took it. That's the way he took it. Winston, you can tell that he was trying to think up something. When the Bowery King is like, no, 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 let her pull up. <laughs> like I've never seen, I've never seen anybody 
um, you know, th- this is why you don't fuck with an adjudicator, period. Because no, be, no, because think about it. What could you even do? Can't bargain with an adjudicator. You can't. No, I'm talking about you can't bargain. You can't threaten. You can't do anything. You try to. <laughs> well, they work. I mean, it's kind of like uh, Clancy Brown's character in four. They both yes. just work for the high table. So you can't yeah, really touch yeah, them in any sort of that's way. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, that's what I mean is. You can't do anything. Yeah, sure. She showed up. You might have been having the greatest day of your life right now. But when you hear the words adjudicator, hell, when you see somebody do this shit, where they take a coin and two fingers slow slide in front of your errand boy to tell, like, to tell him, like, hold on, to tell him, yo, bring your nigga down here. For me, for me, look, this the first time I see somebody, the, the third time I see somebody do that. Please, madam, you do not have to do that. <laughs> I can see. I can see. Hey, real quick. What, 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 that what shit. good, what good <laughs> does it mean? What they, honestly, sliding it means what? I'm going to be creeped out or some shit? Bitch, just say who you from. Real right, quick, real Give quick, me real quick. Um, I'm mad I skipped over the horse chase. Yeah, things. that bitch down here, bro. So, here's what gets <laughs> me. <laughs> Seeing a man get heel kicked by a fucking horse twice, I'm like, you're dead. You're dead. Ain't no way you fucking. Now, hold on, Chris. Now that is CTE. Oh, yeah, that's (laughs) that's nigga. That ain't CTE. That's not CTE. No, that's not CTE. That is the that is the same force Goku did to Birder's neck. You're dying. That second, oh, no, 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 is just a symptom of the no, death no, no, that's no, no, about to happen. The, no, no, the no, one no. guy that got kicked, the, the 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 first guy that got kicked one time, that CTE. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The oh, second yeah, dude, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the first guy. The first guy who got hit with that uh, that first kick. I'm like, oh yeah, that's CTE, dude. The second he dude, was smart. He was smart. He stayed on the ground. He did not get back up again. Now he, your boy, he's good. You he can go home. Your, second dude, now your boy who took the secretariat three piece. That that. <laughs> First that's of all, a, that's murder. <laughs> Vegeta's <laughs> on murder levels of you're dead. <laughs> no, first of all, when John, when John had the nerve to look homeboy dead in the eye and give Sebastian the slap <laughs> and the freaking <laughs> double <laughs> kick. <laughs> Yo, what got me about the kick was, I was like, how did the, how did the horse know I got this nigga? <laughs> 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 dog, you set dog. him up, I'll knock him down. Nigga, that was where 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 slap your man, dog. Bam, dog. I got him. Yeah, I dog, 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 dog. That was the Captain America Bucky shield throw when they were fucking yes, beating up an arm was. and like, bit, 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 like boss. <laughs> you know fight what? back, nigga. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. I still look. I still. I still hate. I hate. I hate how the MCU <laughs> took. Civil War and all the good shit in Civil War said, let's pour half this bitch out and only get like half. <laughs> they look that's the fight. shield yeah, toss. That, that whole fight, Chris, that whole fight to me. I'm sitting when because I had finally heard somebody explain not what you explained, but somebody that was on my side of Iron Man being right, but it's like. But I need everybody to shut the fuck up. And they went through the whole series of what actually happened in Civil War. I was like, thank you for that reminder. This is a dumbed down fight of it. Stop. <laughs> but better. It was better to me because they dumped it down. The fact it was like, wait, wait, that's what. <laughs> Kill my mama. Nigga. Nah, nah. But my man, my man that got that was, the, that was the double hit with the shit. But here's the one that gets me. My man, John. You didn't have to drag my man like that with the rope around his neck and just slammed into the fucking damn thing. I'm oh, like, yes, God man. damn. Look, yes, he look, did. Dog. Yes, dog, he look, did. Look, 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 he look, knew look. the assignment. He knew you're the fighting, assignment. He knew the assignment. You're fighting John Wick. You're fighting and John. Before- you're fighting John Wick in open environment. You like where where this environment you decide to go is completely up to you. Y'all just happen to go into a horse stable, and when and let me and let me uh, be the first to tell you. When shit happens in a horse stable, nigga, you going for that's a like, ride. That's like that's like I'm Jackie angry. Chan in a fucking Marlowe's furniture. It's like I ain't falling his ass in there. You lost my goddamn mind. Right, like, here's, here's my thing also before right. anybody like, before, it's like putting Jackie Chan in a heckinger. Like like before anybody hits this shit, like hey yo. Oh, 
Let me be honest with you. They ain't the first Persian man that got a belt wrapped around his neck and dragged by a horse in all of history. So shut the fuck up before you say racist. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shit. I'm sorry. He's like this. I'm sorry. You know how many Ottomans? You know how many Ottomans went out like that? <laughs> Just nigga, what you but doing? Here's, ah! here's the one that got me. John's on the horse, and the two guys on the bikes come up. Did you like? I love the camera work of it. How he fucking grabs the dude's gun, shoots him in the head, and you see the camera pans and the guy just hitting the fucking side of the damn car. <laughs> I like how these niggas had Kawasaki. Not, not, not gonna lie. Going, I like going how these ba- niggas going, going back to going, going back to my man getting dragged by the horse. Errors. These errors. <laughs> I'm just saying. Go, my man got dragged by the horse. That was me. I'm like, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yo, I like how these niggas had two two Kawasaki's. My man, my man, John Wick had Farfrit Kruger. It was. <laughs> <laughs> just booking you. <laughs> First off, you don't leave your gun in your holster for John to grab and shoot you in the face. It's like why? Fucking why? Also, also, the second I saw um now to, to go a little bit further, um, yes, the second I saw Angelica Houston, I said this, ladies and gentlemen, she is the best actress in the movie. She is actually the best actress in the movie. I didn't say actor, that's still Ian McShane. But that being said, you look at the best actress in the movie and when you saw the knife go through her hand, when they they, they 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 like stabbed her hand, I was thinking to myself, she ain't died though. So we're gonna get more of her. <laughs> but here's the thing: now that you bring that up, that's a that's a shitload of nerve damage right there. Now, now here's the thing: now that you bring it up, uh, we gotta talk about. I am from, look, I am Eastern European. There was no feeling there at all, anyway. <laughs> we, have, we have to we have to talk about my man. Lost feeling. We got to talk Don't about my man, no my personal, <laughs> probably one of my top martial arts artists of all time, Bart the as, uh, yeah. as Zero, the, the, the fanboy of John. This guy and his two, the two dudes from the raid are wrecking fucking house on straight Russians out, like straight and the fucking of, uh, Bowery Kings boys. I was going to say straight out, like straight out of Indonesia. Yeah, both, mm. both, the, first both of all, the, first of all, Zero, Zero and his uh, his students run a, a nice little, you know, they, they run this real nice looking uh, izakaya, not a sushi uh, bar. This is a whole izakaya, okay? Yeah, it was a whole sushi. Yeah, yeah. Like this easy, like they run an izakaya on the surface, but but of course, uh, adjudicator shows up, slides that coin. They go, all right, y'all, we got an adjudicator here. Let's go ahead and get this uh, puffer fish together. And uh, we're going to cut it just right. Uh, no soy. I like how he used that just to sit there and say, I like the cut of your jib, adjudicator. I will be of service. <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> I am to be of service. How may I serve? Right. Agrees and non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she is. I was told when the movie came out she was. I don't know. Oh. I don't care. I just like I remember that being a thing for like one week. Yeah, she's in, she's in billions and she I know oh. she is in billions. Yes, yeah, yeah, I forgot her name. Why well, I say she they are in D billions. she's D, in billions. I'm sorry. D, anyway, well. D you deserve this. Lord Jesus. I got this, man. I'm high on love. <laughs> hey, hey um, also, um, I, 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 you know, I didn't want to jump. Your high. <laughs> um, 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 Bowery King after catching them seven slices. Uh, can I go ahead? Uh, stop <laughs> it! No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, I'm God. sorry. I'm sorry, Eris. That's your, yo. When we were in the theater, I, I think did you come? No, no, you didn't come there. and see John. Yeah, did you see John with me? I went to. I yeah. was there with y'all. Mm, I've no, seen John. I saw John Wick. Uh, is the, the thing, next day after yeah, y'all did actually. Yeah, Eris is in the theater next to me, right, with John Wick three, and I was dying laughing because Eris was in tears when he said, "Sometimes you gotta cut a nigga." Like Eris was hey, sometimes you gotta cut a motherfucker. <laughs> Eris was in tears, died. Now it's a funny line, but it's the way he says it. He's just like, 
How'd you gotta cut him, motherfucker? <laughs> because he <laughs> knew. <laughs> Done. I mean, I said, avert your eyes, my sweet. The <laughs> king is dead. <laughs> Look, Bowery King took them slices like a G now, and, and now, kept it pushing. Now, obviously, he stays, he's alive at the end, but did you guys at that moment believe the first time that he was dead? No, no. I did not I'm believe gonna be real he was dead, and I, can, and I can tell you why. Because, number one, none of those cuts looked lethal. The second reason for me, yeah, I agree with you, was the cuts, but the reason for me was there's still more story left. Huh? Where are we going with this? Think nah. about it. Think about. It. Remember, you gave John seven bullets. Your penance is seven cuts. Seven cuts. You know, not to be not to be sliced and diced and and murdered, because even though you did give him the murder weapon, doesn't necessarily balance out for us to just straight up kill you. So instead, we're gonna cut you for each bullet that you gave him. Mm-hmm. Which. Was like like in either way and like, and like and they did set it up like he was about to die like long live the king. Yeah, it's about long live the king. My favorite line. <laughs> you know what? Respectfully, I would like to tell you that you need to come down off of that high table and go fuck yourself. I think what's I think what's interesting about all this is that like, you know, John Wick two did a good job of kind of setting up the world, kind of doing a lot of more story on the world building. What's the fact that there's so many moving parts with the high table? And it's not just one person that's part of the high table. It's like it seems like it's a group decision. So when they say it's the high table, it's really a group decision on this. So the fact that John yeah. pissed off, the fact that the whole John, group. <laughs> John, the Bowery King, and and uh, Winston pissed off a whole ass group of high table folks. Like, all right, Winston, we were we were letting you go with your shenanigans in New York, but. Hey, dog, what the fuck, man? You letting Wick out here. And, and it's really it's really because if you re- what they're doing it, what all three of them are doing, they disrupt a system. Mm-hmm. They yeah. disrupt that whole fucking system. So the second, and that's in any industry, anything, the second somebody starts disrupting a the system, there's gonna be the higher people like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's talk, man. Come on. Come on, man. It's like you're wild. You know, you know when uh after the adjudicator uh tells Bowery King that you have seven days to uh get all your affairs in order, find a new home for your birds, uh because <laughs> like because you know if you I think what is it, if you don't serve, um you will be excommunicated as well. And of course, Bowery King does responds the best way possible. <laughs> because, like, again, it's kind of funny that is you want to his love, like, bitch, what you got to threaten me with? You have nothing to threaten me with. Yeah. What are you hanging above my head that's going to be so? Damn it, uh, bitch! I run, uh, like, I run, I run the sewers, bitch! I don't care. I'm like, oh, I'll tell you <laughs> what I got King, over bitch. you. I got like, I got like, I'll tell you what I got over you. The murder weapon that uh, that you gave to Mister Wick. Um, there is no version of this story where you come out of this clean. So, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, John, Johnny mm-hmm. Boy gets to Casablanca, and that's when you find. Just out make sure my bitch is all right. <laughs> John gets to Casablanca. Um, has a quick little fight and he meets up with Sophia who we find out that he saved so yeah worked for her he saved Sophia's daughter and got her out and Sophia Yay, basically he's put, riding and Sophia basically <laughs> got put in position God, he is riding <laughs> yeah Sophia got basically put in a position to be the uh head of the continental in Casablanca so something that we find out is that the assassins they can no longer go back to their families so if they don't follow any sort of order from the high table, the high table can go after the family. So she asks John, and that's why she owes the blood debt to John. Like, yo, can you save my daughter and get her out, like, to where the high table can't find her? Cool. Hell, so that's when... Don't even tell me where uh, where she where is. Because God knows I will try to find her. So essentially, um, John basically comes to Sophia and says, the bill comes due. Here's the blood debt you owe. And the second and, she broke that out, she's like, why are you bringing that shit around? 
Thank you. <laughs> so, nigga, you are ex- oh, God, like, oh, God. He's, you know what? You know what? For for the administration, uh, 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 like this, 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 this wonderful agency right here. The, like for the administration to be using all analog shit. News traveled real fast about John being excommunicado. Uh, she knew about it. Said, "Well, Morse code." Like, first of all, John, beep, beep, like, of all, John <laughs> why? Why the fuck are you even here? <laughs> Blood dead. I need how to are you? To how are you not dead? That's that's my question. Do you just have someone at the airport? Yes, nigga. I do. Why are you here? <laughs> so basically, John wants to be taken to the elder. The elder is the guy that was the first. He's the one that made the coins because you see him making the coins and all that stuff. And they said he's the one above the high table. Yeah. So he goes to John. Well, I mean, she has no. no, sorry. John has uh, has Sophia take him to her, her old boss. boss. Who is the elder, essentially. Yeah. Um, now, it's funny because the conversation, John Played is by thinking, a British man, by the way. Played by a British man. But oh, Scottish. No, he's not Scottish. I think he's British. He's British, by the way. So uh, He's... No, 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 no. Her boss, the elder is the guy that's not above the high table, yeah, yeah, but yeah. the guy that her boss knows the elder. But I like how the conversation, John is thinking, all right, if I talk to this guy, I can get to the elder and I can breathe a sigh of relief. And he's looking at John like, what makes you think I'm going to tell you where he is? You know what? You're excommunicated. <laughs> you know what? He, I'll tell what you how. You <laughs> I'll tell you how. Go to the edge of the desert, and if you die, maybe the elder saves you. No, no, he does. He said, "You go to the edge of the desert, you walk, you keep, keep walking, walking until you can't walk no more, more. and then maybe, maybe he saves you." Here's what I'm thinking: when he says that, I'm I'm imagining the uh, the elder is sitting way up on like the highest the highest peak. point in the desert like a, a good peak and he is just looking down going damn john's just walking he's still walking holy shit this motherfucker ain't, he's he, he has head. not he is not he's just like, walking he's a look at like a hold, wait wait wait, wait hold circle on. for an hour wait <laughs> hold on it's like he like damn he hasn't even passed out yet he ain't slowing down to nothing he just keep ah look at that he took a tumble <laughs> oh damn he got back up again oh oh shit he keeps on going look look look, 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 look. all right hold on all right all right all right, Dude, look, all right. What, we got? what we got what we got what we got what we got yeah like what we got you got two Hasim, hours like, Hasim, like, hold up two, like wait two hours two like two hours three hours Hasim, like, got, Hasim like, four, says he's like, gonna four fall. hours four Hasim hours says like, he's gonna keep on going the same hours. in the back says he can't keep on like going, six, man. Whoa, whoa, six? You think he's gonna last six, six hours? Let's go, let's go. go. <laughs> bro. What gets me about this scene is that, um, Sophia's hey, can dog. We do any other, can we do any other like, like parlays on the back? I already said the bet's in. We said that the bet is in already. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, if he falls in the center, no, no. <laughs> Oh, oh, side note, did you like how after John fought those guys on the street and the guy that works for Sophia is like, hey, guys, stop. Yes, he's excommunicado, but he's a special guest. All of a sudden, that one dude tries to attack, and I'm like, now, why would you attack him after he told you not to attack John? I was like, yeah, so, I expected him on to top get of shot. That you tr- no, on the top of that, you attacked him uh, under the Continental? Mm-hmm. Like there was, they were near the continental, and and of course, as soon as as soon as dude stopped him, he says, "Oh, excommunicado, huh?" Pop, pop, he killed the two of them. Now here's the thing. My apologies, so, like my apologies, John. Welcome to Casablanca. Right. Now here's the thing. Um, Sophia's oh, dog. Right. Sophia, hold up. Yeah. Sophia's dog. Yeah, I'm they, sorry they're... if it's too dark, y'all. But the dog basically jumped on her back. That's bro, all you need. Bro, to know. Bro, bro, bro. Sophia's dogs is, is Belgian Malino shepherds. Um, I thought so. I there's there's a kid. Dogs. I can't say what type of dogs they were. Same one as in John Wick Four. Same type. Mm-hmm. Um, those dogs are nasty. They are very vicious and they will fuck you up. Dead ass. Any any of the, any of the dogs that are in the shepherd category <sighs> are great fucking police dogs. Great military dogs and all the rest of that shit. And that yeah, I know real, they're the real canine unit. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Any of those fucking hounds, just on some real shit. They don't. They look. Yeah, I, look. Um, I remember seeing the trailer for John Wick Three, and you know, you see the first two Wick movies, and you're like, man, how can he really up the ante after the first two? And I remember seeing the trailer, and I'm like, he has dogs attack. 
holy shit, this motherfucker got dogs. Two dogs. Uh, the same way that, or the, like, how do you uh, how do you up the ante in John Wick to say you up the ante in Tekken? Add animals. Bruh. So Sophia has two attack dogs. Eris, that, that, that you saying that? Now, three John Wick Mick movies from now, he's going to have a bandana, a Japanese flag on his back. Yep. <laughs> he's going to punch people. You're going to see, like, Korean letters pop up. Pow, ping. <laughs> dog, dog, Sophia has two. Yo, them dogs. And, and look, how they angel wings. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Holly Berry did train for this movie. Rainbow and Aura. Just, and you could, and there are parts where you could tell that's Holly when she did this stunt and that's her stunt double and stuff. And she does, like, she's very she believable. A lot of her stu- she did a lot of her stunts. She, in this. She's and believable. I will, and y'all know me, even when I don't like an actor or actress, I will give them their kudos. She, she worked her ass off. I will give Holly. Y'all know I love calling Holly mid. She worked her ass off. She need to be proud of what she fucking did in this fucking movie. Man. Because that fucking slide and the way she did the gun cut is afterwards. Uh, I that would was like all to, Holly and perfect. I, I would, love it. I would like to point out that these are two actors well into their 50s going to work. Bro, on an that, entire army. That whole sequence, and then her yelling the dog's names, and they're just fucking up these dudes, and then like, like, did he show the dog jumped off her back? And I'm like, that's scary. That dog just jumped up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any dogs trained like that? I, these, you know what? These dogs, like, are, any dogs these that dogs, jump is already dogs. scary. But dog, come on, man. First, like, first of all, these weren't any dogs. They were diamond dogs. Okay, they Bruh, were trained. At, they were trained dogs. at outer heaven with with bulletproof vests on them too. No less. Yes. Which, which, by like, the way, hold on. Which, by the way, this is what started the whole thing. When my man, my man said, "Huh, you know, now that I've given you this information, I would like something in return. Can I please have this dog? I really like this dog." I said, you know, of all things that you want to ask Halle Berry, you're going to ask her for one of her dogs. The way I would have said... She's a black woman without no child. She's going to attach herself to that damn dog. The way my black ass would have said, all right, so uh, we can go to Petco back in the city and get you a dog. (laughs) (laughs) Is there there even a Petco in Casa Plata? I don't know. We'll find (laughs) one. Casa Plata Petco. We have many, many dogs here. Wait, wait. Hold up. Too many sticks. Wait, wait, wait. Too many sticks. D. But best for you. D, D. Petco Max Plus. <laughs> the way I would have. The way. No, no. Why you look? Why she's leaving it? Like, wow, this is a good idea, John. I told you. Be good for you getting a dog. Also, before we leave this Petco, let's go over to the Starbucks. Stand at something. <laughs> Why is there a Starbucks? Because. Inside of a Petco. Because. <laughs> Just gotta be, on, gotta be honest with you. I'm surprised there's no Starbucks inside the Continental. Like the Continental didn't franchise out Starbucks Wait. inside the Continental. Chris, Chris, I got John a feeling Wick, Chris, the Continental. Chris, John Wick Five. I have Maybe a feeling for John Wick Five. No, 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 dude, look, John Wick Five, Winston. No, no. And again, can we get rid of all the Pepsi products? This is a Coca-Cola <laughs> place. I know there are not many soft drinks here, but we do need a, a, another menu. Not all people <laughs> like exactly. I will say for the record. No, no, I didn't give Killer One that money. I don't but, think they deserve but it. I will, because, I will say for the record. Hey, Chris, Chris, you like Chris, that, right? I didn't give Kettle One our money. I don't think they deserve <laughs> our money. <laughs> Chris, I will say for the record that there will be a Starbucks and possibly a Krispy Kreme at the continent. <laughs> no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. If they. Can I have you honest? Can it be actually? It better this? be a Bitty Hotter or Ruby Tuesdays on the end, on the far All end I'm of that bitch. Is, you know damn well ain't gonna be no Ruby Tuesdays. It's is, a Benigans. It's a Benigans. So stop. No, no, it. no. We need something painfully mid. Shonies. <laughs> it's a Hooters. Shonies. No, a Hooters. Hooters. No. Painfully friendlies. mid. Friendlies. Painf- friendlies. Friendlies. Are they friendly? It'll be the last. Look, no, D, D. That's the thing. They'll be like Blockbuster, the last <laughs> remaining friendlies on Earth. No, 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 no. No, you're getting it wrong. You're getting it wrong. Hello? No. No, we have the best blippy in all of New York City. I don't know why. <laughs> guys, guys. That guys, nigga still got a blippy. Guys. He guys. still got a blippy. The DC Continental has a binge chili bowl. 
flint. He said, no, they just took it. Up. No, they no, just took it smoke. over. No, they it's took it over. It's a half they smoke. Took... Don't start it. It's a half smoke. They, they moved half smoke off of Florida Avenue. Wait, wait, wait. Moved over to the Continental. <laughs> Mm-mm. Now no. they fancy. Now the prices are way no, no, no. higher now. No wait, Chris. <laughs> Rico Chris, coins Chris, instead of no, what? <laughs> no, Chris. Let me. No, Chris. Let me hook you up. Let me hook you up. First of all, first of all, they just hijacked the Hogs on the Hill. Man, they listen, took it over. Listen, in Clinton, Maryland, there's a fucking they continental. They uprooted it. They uprooted it and brought it over. <laughs> <laughs> the DC Continentals in Clinton, Maryland, not in no, DC no, proper. No, it's in no, Clinton, Maryland. No, no, stop it. The Continentals in the old BT, BT building. Y'all know that. Don't Land stop over, it. No, you know what? You know what? Landover, Maryland, would be a perfect spot for the no, Continental. No, 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 no. They took over Landover. Imagine, no, no, shut the fuck up, Harris. This is a good one. You driving down New York Avenue? Hey, ain't love no more. What with the Continental? What's the next? <laughs> Yo, what's no, no, for real? What they they changed love to what? What's the now? I, I forgot. Smokehouse. 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 Yeah, the Smokehouse Lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it'll change. <laughs> Like, what the hell is a continental? <laughs> hey, hey, continental, the blackest continental out of all the continentals around the world. Even no, the no, continents of all Africa. Gold, first of all, all the gold coins are painted black. Hold on, hold Con- on, hold on. Conflict hold on. diamonds is the is the money scene right there. Hold up. And y'all, look, look. Respect DC. Oh, it's top of the line. Parking is shit. Parking <laughs> is pure shit. It is pure. You know what? DC has this weird line of luxury and what the hell? I am hey, never I gotta understand. be real about this. If if this world existed today, you know what, Eris? You could be uh you could make a lot of money being a Bowery King because you know San Diego got a lot of homeless folks. Hell New York yeah. got a lot of homeless folks. I, look, 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 DC hey, got look, some homeless folks. That. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm pretty sure there is a Bowery King <laughs> and he runs like a couple cities. On like every on one of the like no bullshit. I was telling my wife as much as I I'm walking think, back from the hotel from San Diego Comic Con. TikTok three BG TikTok. Was that review don't coming? Look at at- me. No. Don't look at TikTok. me. TikTok. <laughs> I'm like, don't look at me. They my peoples. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no. Here's the thing. Here's what, no, I'm no, good. No, I don't no, know no, about the no. rest of y'all. Here's the thing. Here's Harris. Look, I just came over here. Yeah, you look, look, Bowery King pitting the dub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You a DJ and you here to help out, help out BlurCon. I already know about it. Shut up. <laughs> Here's you. I, I was just telling you my situation. I don't know why you try to cut me off. <laughs> my bad shit. I was just trying to help you, black people. See, look, 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 I understand that you work with the Saxons, but we black men. And, <laughs> and black men. <laughs> I love us. I love us millennials who get teary eyed trying to say I love you, and it's like, and look, a Gen Xer or a Boomer's like, shut the hell up. <laughs> dog, dog. You know what had me rolling though? You get to the end of that fight. I like how they just lit up that fucking Range Rover and them dudes that came up there like, fuck this. I'm like, oh shit. Boy, they lit that whole car. And and the two dogs took out the other guys in the car too. I was like, oh well, fuck. You know yeah. it's official when the blood splatters on the windshield. Oh, you did. You ain't coming back. That, that's, like, that's oh, oh they, they they done done. Okay. The other cool. guys in the the other guys in the building, you know, they got their nutsack ripped off, but you know they might survive. I Maybe. feel bad for two people that are yelling because their balls were clean ripped off of their shit. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, uh, no, not not just ripped off, scattered somewhere on that battlefield. Just think about it. Think about it. Think about it, Eris. Think about it. And I hate to tell you this. A part of your scrotum is still in a dog's mouth. Well, 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 well guys. Well, guys. That's its guys. resting place. That's the resting <laughs> place well, of well, your let's ball. Be re- let's be real. Well, gentlemen, let's be real. Those guys can say that they officially have transitioned. <laughs> 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 That's it. Dishonor. Dishonor on your whole family. Make a note of this. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. Dis- <laughs> How is with any of these jokes? It's you. <laughs> <laughs> How 
are y'all making the jokes? How are y'all making all the rude jokes that get it, that 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 threatens to get us banned? We're not gonna ban us. It's, 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 it's a very funny joke. We are two for two. So. Well, anyway, Eris anyway, laughing. Eris, Eris laughing validates it, so nobody can ban us. It's like, hey, you see him? He's laughing. He's laughing. See, see, it's funny. <laughs> anyway, nah, my man. They get to the desert. I laugh that her being the dickhole that she is, she's like, John, I can't come back here anymore. She drinks a little bit of the water and then spits like a slither back into the no, bottle. No, not a little bit. Not a little bit. The bitch drank the rest of the water and <laughs> spit then out. And spit it right back and gave it right back to John. Keanu Reeves, being the strong gentleman that he is, like, consequences. Consequences. And just that's, walked that's, off. That's the name of the game. I know some, but I know some of y'all niggas. Consequence. <laughs> it's Holly Berry. I ain't stupid. I know some of y'all. Somewhere. Some somewhere. of y'all. Not D. Not D. <laughs> somewhere in the slums of Houston, Texas, a couple is role playing the scene, and it's not pretty. <laughs> I like how you picked Houston. I like how you picked Houston because personally, I would have said El Paso. Just to get make it a little bit more obscure, I would have said like 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 I would have said like you know like a, like a Fort Lauderdale, uh, Chattanooga. You will pick a sub city. You don't pick the large city. Is what I'm trying. To say. <laughs> you don't say Oklahoma City. You go for Tulsa. You see what I'm saying? You don't man. go for Wichita. You go for Kansas City. Ah, ah, ah. See, that's man what I'm saying. Cons- My man said consequences. Sniffed. Smells like 2007 Catwoman. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to say this as you say that, Eris. I appreciate Halle Berry on Twitter recognizing that movie and going with the Twitter jokes about it. I love oh, yeah. It. She, 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 is a, she is an amazing sport. She is an amazing sport about that. She's like, yeah, you know, it's Catwoman. It happened. You know, had to pay the bill somehow, you know. And I think uh, because every act, uh, because and I do give Holly that because every actress do Every actress, every actor does hit a fucking speed bump very, very hard. And they go right directly on their knees with it. And the best one had to go to Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock got a Ramsey for, I forgot what movie it was. And she was like, hey, everybody, hey, everybody, thank you for so much for the reward. Here's the thing, though. I know it's a bad movie. I don't think any of you have seen it, though. So this is what I did. I had my assistant give all of you a free DVD of my movie, and then you can see it and say, "Wow, it's bad, but it ain't worth a Razzie." Thank you. And she walked off. So every actor, in a way, go. Oh, Halle Berry <laughs> didn't. Halle Berry actually showed up to the Razzies in a gown for Catwoman. She was like, "Yeah, oh, you know, take happily her. accepted like said, her award." Her by the book. way. Um, I think, oh God, it was another actress that did the same thing. I, I forgot who it was. I got it. You gotta, you gotta love anyone. You gotta love anyone that is willing to take the piss out of a situation like this because when they recognize themselves, that yes, I did a bad movie. That this would have been like Eddie Murphy showing up for Beverly Hills Cop Three. He would happily tell you this movie was shit, and I am so mad that. A perfect trilogy has been forever destroyed because of this film. A part so, of me also would love, I know who would do it, but a part of me thinks that he wouldn't do it just because out of spite. And he's he will probably get one. You're like, ladies and gentlemen, we're so proud that he showed up for his lifetime achievement award, Sylvester Stallone. And because the Razzies, for whatever reason, <laughs> it's Stallone, he can't act. <laughs> they did that to him a lot. So a part of me, if I was Stallone, yeah, I show up, I show up. It just it's a bad movie. I will lean hard into it and then tell all of them go fuck themselves. Like, what do you want me to do? I can't do Copland every year. <laughs> Still Getty was a nice woman. Right? I thought she was nice. I was fine. Here's the thing. Drive was a good movie, too, but nobody wanted it because American kids don't watch it one like that. I think, come on, yeah, it's going to be great. But nobody wanted to do it. I still, like, I still like Daylight. Man, I don't care what anybody said. You say it was a bad film. Daylight actually helped me as a director. And, I <laughs> was, and my son was in it. 
I love him. <laughs> my son is here. Let me tell you something about Sage. Sage ain't even a good actor, but you got a lot of this charm. You got a lot of Italian charm. You know what? You know what? So, John. <laughs> John has to Hold be on. able to. Yeah. So, what it is. <laughs> so, John has to I think, I think, I think, I, I, no, 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 no. No. All right. Stallone only does weed, but it's like the Hollywood weed that we you, that we can't that we're not allowed to touch. You know what I mean? <laughs> ah, so, some light shit. No, nah, ain't light shit. It's like this. Nah. Excuse me. So, how long? I, like, like, man, this shit ain't nothing. You've been sitting there for eight hours. The dark outside. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, I lick this shit. What the? <laughs> you know what got me? So we know you were dead. <laughs> Anyway. So the elder is played by uh, Saeed uh, Takmawi. He's a uh, French. He's uh, French American. Um, he's, I thought he was. Yeah, yeah. French American. Yeah, he's, he's practicing Muslim though. He's practicing Muslim, but he's like French American. <clears throat> and um, I, and he is quite possibly our favorite, <laughs> our favorite Persian a man of Persian descent. <laughs> he has like played. I think he's like Oscar Isaac, where he's played every brown person in a movie. Like he's played a terrorist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's played a hero. He's played every like Moroccan. It's like yo, you've hit he every played... <laughs> Israeli. Yeah. Much like and that's so funny. Much like uh, Keanu playing every <laughs> every mixed white person, <laughs> he has to. Play play everybody that comes out of the Middle East and anybody you want to give lines to, they usually give it to him. Um, just because I hate to go over the racism of Hollywood, but you can actually understand what he says. You know what I mean? He played, yo, he played the Sheik in American Hustle and I'm like, this looks very racist, but I understand. Yeah, he uh, like yeah, he always plays like he always be he always plays like an the antagonizing Middle Eastern, <laughs> you know, with the exception of some roles where he was the hero and stuff. You know, GI Joe. And, <clears throat> he was know. a hero. He was a good guy in GI Joe. I forgot about that. Yeah, oh, and, and, and in Conan. Now, Eris, Eris, we talked about it. Go ahead, say the line that you want to say. Oh, you mean when John finally shows up mm. and. Uh, after he sat through all of his hallucinations and survived a gunfight and got picked up by the elder here, um, <clears throat> he asked him very, you know, very calmly, as Celine would. So, are you my friend, American? Why? Tell me why, sir. Jafari. Remember, everybody calls this dude Jafari. <laughs> Nobody ever refers to him as John, you know, except Winston who calls him Jonathan. But anyways, I digress. I like that also because Angelica Houston called him Giordani. Which yeah, is Giordani. Yeah, John, you know, so, like Giordani. But they always call him a variation of John. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, so tell me. Like, so tell me, Jafari. Why did you call the Rubal Hali? Why did you come to see me, my man? Like what? Like why did you come to? No, I got you. Like why did you come to see me, my main man? I watched you. You, you, trip fell, go down, son. <laughs> you took a very, very hard tumble down that sand dune. I've played on Charlie. Person personally, Seen personally, this. Personally, <laughs> like personally, I thought you were dead. You were what are the, you were walking around in circles, my main man. Do you know how long you were walking out there? It'd be hours. Only fourteen minutes. <laughs> yeah, it was only four, like it was only fourteen minutes. You hear that? Fourteen minutes. <laughs> All y'all lost. <laughs> no, nah, Omar the bad got it. Bullshit, Omar got it. Yeah, dude, I said twenty. He said twenty. He said twenty. He said twenty. He's all that. I think he's lying. <laughs> I've played Uncharted but, three. But, I've seen this before. I've seen <laughs> Nathan Drake. He was lost in the desert. White man in white man in desert. Like white man in desert. No, sorry. <laughs> white, no, 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 no. You are a white man in a black suit in this desert. How are you not hot? How how are you still alive? And I have a better question. You're not. <coughs> you're not old, way right, are you, my main man? No, no. You're light. What are you? Is is your mother Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? I can't. Uh... Native so he American. says all. So he Native says American, my man. Like, so you know. So he asked him. You know, like, what is it that you know? What did you come all this way to see me for? He came all that way 
to ask for forgiveness. Let's be real. Oh, John, there is no level of forgiveness that we can really offer you at this point. I mean, huh. you di- you did all of this for what? Every And I love how everybody in this movie has asked him, John, you have led a parade of bullet hell. What is the, the end goal here, like, sir? Like for the past... Like for the past three and a half weeks over what? A puppy? It's like, what is the end goal of this all this, all, sir? Like, this was all over what? A dog and a car? <laughs> it's like, sir, what was the end goal to all this? What was the what was the what was the point? What was the point, sir? Now, now a listen. puppy, your dead wife, what man? <laughs> listen now, now, now listen, listen. You did all this for what? What like what do you live for? My wife, Helen. I live to honor her. Helen's been so dead for a long time, so, my no, man. No, 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 wait, wait. So you do this for love. You know, Jonathan, we can take away the excommunicado, but you would have to be back 100% under the table. This man is about to be on a level of servitude that he's going to wish that he was dead because he is offered the chance of, of his quote unquote freedom by still being under the high table. He has to go back to New York, find Winston and kill him. Yeah. And that's the thing. And I like how, but I like how John's eyes looked like Winston. What? What? <laughs> like oh, and the penance for that, dude gave up the ring. Oh, oh by oh, cutting. Oh. oh yeah, go ahead. By cutting his finger off, bro. I gotta say this for the record. I don't know if I would have the balls to do what he did to cut his finger. That like, and the thing of it is, John did it smartly. He's like, fuck it, bam. I think that's something. Like I think to do that, you have to be committed to just saying not doing the. Oh, I don't know. It's yeah, like you, not- have, you have to just do it. Technically, what he did was like offer some straight up Yakuza stuff because um, the way that I've seen it done in like in certain Yakuza movies was when you get ready to cut. And I actually heard about this from like from an actual ex Yakuza member who who did lose his finger. They don't just do you know just a simple nick or cut or, or or like an incision with a hacksaw. No, what you do is you get like. You get the sharpest knife that you can find. You don't slam down with it. You don't do that. No, 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 no. You don't even do that. You don't even technically. You don't even do that either. You get the knife ready. You take a a a, a, a like a thick ass wood block. Uh huh. Smash the knife with the uh, with the block. Oh, straight clean through the bone. Oof. Yeah, what John did, he came down with a force. Yeah, and bam, like that. Which from from my understanding, that's actually a lot more painful. But from the way the Yakuza does it, they do it to where you're you're gonna feel pain, but it's not gonna be as painful as doing it the other ways. But John, after he did that, he gives the ring up, and you know the elder puts it inside his pocket, and, and that's when like, they 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 send they you know sear the, the yeah the send his like, freaking finger. So John has to go back to New York to kill Winston in order to clear his debt, and he's gonna be working for the high table. So they're like, hey, John. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we got the picture of it. He uh, does this, this, this moment. Where is it at? Where'd you put it at, D? Where I put what at? What's up? Uh, ah. And Jonathan, welcome back, my man. My main man. <laughs> John, I'm sorry. Doing? I'm gonna point this out real quick, y'all. And for you know, for anybody that's watching this, I, I want y'all to just, just, just run with me on this. Mm-hmm. For any of y'all that ever watched, you know, movies on Fox, TBS, TNT back in the 90s, don't you hate it when they take a freeze frame like this and it would be like the beginning, like the first 25 minutes of a movie. They take a freeze frame from the end of the movie or somewhere in the third act and they and they use this as a we'll be right back type of shit. And you know what? It's so funny. Chris was like, come on, man. Everybody's seen the movie at that point. And I, and I hate, hate to be that person. You don't fucking know that. <laughs> like, no, for real. Like, 
there are oftentimes, many times, like somebody like, oh, I always wanted to watch that movie. Let me, yeah, I know, yeah, let me watch it on TBS. I know <laughs> it's still. still. I'm just saying, still, when, you're watching it, you know what I mean? And you just see this shot right here. This just looks like a shot. <laughs> Spoiler, <laughs> important part of the movie. <laughs> that welcome back. I always like. Also, by the way, I always like how they always put the 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 the, the colored font on the, up there when they want to make. Oh, a yeah, point. the colored subtitles. Yeah, I like that shit, man. I just think it was interesting that the elder is the guy, but again, he's one of many people of the high table. So as much as he has say so, and that's following those rules, it's just the fact that like John. Has yeah. to go, but he has to go back to New York, and it's like, yeah, kill Winston, and oh, yeah, yeah, you're um, back good. on it. Yeah, we're back, back on it. It's just this time around, you're not out the game. You're just working for the high table, doing our bidding, essentially. Uh, which I think that's yeah, even, he had a choice. Yeah, either, either you going to die, or you going to walk your ass back to New York City and kill somebody for me? It's one of the two. No pressure. I, I like how he gets back though. Zero is waiting for his ass at the fucking Grand Central Station. And I like it. He's Excited like Excited as hell. Yo, here's the part. They're about to fight each other, and all of a sudden, kids coming in there. And that's when Zero was like, you know what, John? That's why I like you. Because if it was me, I would have just fuck it. I would have said, fuck them kids and fucking went at your ass. I, I, I would have been I would have been 96 Jordan on your ass right now. Yeah. Like, fuck them and kids. And what killed me? What killed me is when he says that. It's like, hey, dog. Y'all just killed like six people in front of a whole crowd of people. <laughs> like, why did that stop you? <laughs> no, you know what? You know what? This is how I know this movie is real life. Because in New York, you stab somebody and every New Yorker isn't screaming. They're just walking like it's a regular day in fucking New York. That's what makes this mm, whole mind shit your business, hilarious. Mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> Dude, because here's the thing. No, not, no, no, not no, actually, no, not yet. Not yet. But here's the thing. Because even with all the murdering John is doing in New York... You notice nothing like that makes the news at all because number one, obviously, the, you know, the high table has people to clean it up. But you know, somebody's like, "Yeah, I saw some guy on the horse shooting some people." Ah, uh, another day in New York. Whatever. Don't care. Yeah, there was these two guys on motorcycles chasing a guy on a horse. And <clears throat> to what? <laughs> it look, look like the same. Now here's the thing: we don't. We're, we're not like here in DC. Here in Washington DC, we're not built like that. No, we're not. No. We're going like you see that shit. Now, here's what we do in D.C. Hey, so there was like eight uh, full armored tanks that just passed my house. Yeah. Y'all niggas not scared of that? No. <clears throat> what are you doing? You, man, I was walking by the Capitol. They got these people with big old AK-47s, yeah? Don't do nothing stupid. Uh, what, can you imagine? What's your, what's your problem? What you act like you've never seen a missile before? I never did. How? <laughs> Let me paint the picture for you. Imagine if you will, you're coming from Kabab Palace. It's two o'clock in the morning. You're crossing the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop. I'm sorry. Stop. Stop. I know that's a real place, but to everybody listening to us, they like did Chris just say something extremely racist? No, he did not. He did not. It's he a did real not. Place. That's the name of the place. All right, so shut the fuck up. Ran a white person that clicked over here thinking we insensitive. No. <laughs> but imagine, if you will, all of a sudden, you see a lone white guy on the bike pass you. You see eight guys on the bike sword fighting, and you're like, the fuck is going on here? <laughs> that also means, said, no, there have been plenty of, that being said, no, everybody. In the DMV, there have been plenty of times where traffic was stopped because they were just shooting. Who was shooting? Was it a gang? You don't even need to know who was shooting, okay? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Mind your business. The police has it. Just keep walking, citizen. That happens in D.C. too. Yeah. Yeah. What? You think espionage shit don't happen? It happens all the time around here. We're just like, oh, damn. You should get caught slipping. <laughs> you imagine you're driving on the bridge. You just see a sword fight break out between a guy and eight people on bikes. Nah, and nah. Just first of all, if, I, like, first, like, first of all, if, if it were to go down the way that I would, uh, the way that I would hope, somebody's going over. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's like at least two, three people going over that bridge. Yo, I'm, talking about, like, I'm talking about motorcycle in all. Real talk, y'all. If y'all see any random murder in D.C. and it involves two white people, they was working for Putin. All right? <laughs> they were, that's why. <laughs> you don't want to be... Hey, look. All I'm saying is you don't want to catch the Winter Soldier action like my man did in Falcon Winter Soldier when he <laughs> was murder. 
Shut up, Chris. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is the most scary shit ever. My man witnessed Winter Soldier murking some dudes on an assassination mission, and Winter Soldier was like, no witnesses. Bow. I'm like, God damn, like it's cold as hell. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Yo, my man John gets on a bike. And look, I love watching death happen. Outmaneuver, outmaneuver look, as much as he could. Here's the thing. They didn't show in the trailer, but when you watch it, when he, it's like you know it's going to happen. He grabs that sword and throws it through the fucking tire, and you just see the fucking flip in the air. I was like, yes, I love oh, that it was shit. A full flip, dude fell over, got ran over by the other nigga. I was like, yo. Those are the type of deaths you expect for something like that. And when you see it, it's like, oh my God, that is so deliciously awesome. Let's go. Here's where, again, one of many John instances here. My man fully, when he drives back on the bike from the Continental with Zero chases him, flips over the bike and ends up touching the stairs. And that counts as being in the awesome. Continental. Base. That was on some base. base. On some home base. Base, shit. base nigga. Yo, like- yo, Sharon came out there like a like a fucking black mom and was like, hey, 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 hey. It's continental. We ain't doing this shit here, all right? No, he, no, no. He came out like an actual official. That's like, dude, dude needed the freaking referee uh, jersey. Just, just come out there and be like, nah, bro. He, my dad did that. that was my, he already touched that was my it. Dad. Right? That was my dad. My dad was like, yo, take all that ye- yelling, all that shit down the street or whatever, right, dad? But whenever there was some shit like that, where ah! if somebody would do some shit like that, nah, nah, my dad would come out, whoa, 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 whoa. This is base. He's right. Y'all all wrong. <laughs> as soon as he, as soon as, he t- like, as soon as as soon as he touched base, uh, <laughs> zero tries to say, but he's excommunicado. Unless you'd like to be one as well, I would suggest you put away your gun and come inside. No, follow, no. M- follow my African accent. I wish I'm Sharon. From, like this. I'm a man from Baltimore. You know. <laughs> I wish Sharon was like a black dad. Went full black. They're like, hey, 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 hey stop. <laughs> Flickering the lights outside of the motherfucker. <laughs> stop. Hey, 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 what's going on out there? Hold up. <laughs> what's all this rackets out here? <laughs> out there with a white beater. Big ass mustard stain across the white beater. <laughs> black and mouth hanging out of his mouth. Uh, Oh my god! So he goes in there, god. and that's when, not no, that's, not no boxes, tidy whities anyway. <laughs> nigga, I have man, I haven't seen tidy whities in years. They still sell tidy whities. Hell yeah! Ooh. Look, don't be that nigga. You know they do. Come on, plain white hugging the dick. Come on, you, you know they still make them. Hey, I hey, look, I, I gave up on them when I got out of high school. I'm like, nope, boxer briefs, baby, <laughs> all day, <laughs> all day. Can he, he's gonna be that person. I gotta be that person, y'all. Um. I hate when you get the box of briefs that just want to live in your ass. Like I oh I I will never forgive Jockey. That's why you get the uh the uh the under armor ones that's like spandex and it stretches so it doesn't like those are box of briefs, nigga. Yeah, but they don't go <laughs> up your ass, they actually stick to you like compression sh- like compression shirt, the except compression it's, it's shorts, yeah. Those yeah. are tight, those are still technically tidy whiteies though. No, they're box of briefs. Yes, they are. No, they stick. If they- if they're spandex, Chris, and they're still technically tidy whiteies, man. They just got shorts to them. You're wearing boy shorts. Anyways. Um, <laughs> look, look. If you had a dunk, there'd be cheeks coming under there. They think they're boot their what? <laughs> look, what are you talking about? Anyways. Anyway, whatever. Anyways. Thank you, Aris. Mr. Clappers. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, All I'm saying is. Champ. Anyway. Um, did he, hold on. Did he wrap the? Yes. Did he actually wrap the yes. belt around yes. the nutsack? Yes. Is what yes, I want to know. <laughs> Here's the thing. Um, this shit here is the equivalent of somebody standing next to you, and when there's like eight fucking stalls, and they're sitting standing right next to you taking a piss. That shit right there. That bullshit right there. Or my favorite from Harold and Kumar. <laughs> like, bro, there's like several bushes around here. Why did Why you have here? to come and piss right next to me? And I like that how close. they showed this long shot. They showed that long shot and they brought it in. It's like, nigga, are you even <laughs> Dog, what had me in tears though is John gets the other seat and his dog I comes like out. I like how it gets oh, quiet. I got you. Can... 
No, I like how it gets what quiet I, and you can hear the leather on the seat of him leaning in. Like what I the the part that I liked is as soon as he finally got reunited with his dog. Uh, no, before dog? he got no, sorry, before he got reunited with his dog, he says, I will get the manager in just a moment. Sharon Sharon leaves. Zero doing the doing some kid shit. This is some kid shit. When he does this action. Look, I got to tell you, it's an honor. I've always <laughs> wanted to meet you. Like, I D. John Lick. <laughs> well, I just like the fact that he looked off. He looked off to make sure the coast was clear. Slid over. And, did, oh, and goes into like, full fanboy mode. There are five celebrities that I'm not going to say right now. But there are five celebrities that I know for a fact that we're going to at least select two of them. We're going to at least interview two of them and they're going to get um give us five minutes um we're we'll start the interview later they leave all three of us look nigga we always always the big <laughs> i want people to I understand got, this i, I want got, people like, to know no i want, I want people to know that <laughs> i am a huge fan of you I, want, I, want, I, I, I gotta say i gotta say i gotta say when you i gotta say i never believed for a second that you killed your wife I thought your son did it and it was all cool but it's all good I was always happy to meet you Juice I'm sorry I didn't I mean celebrity I didn't say I wanted to meet no, I, I, want, I want folks to understand this Um, there is a quick B-roll oh this. yes Eris I will do that to OJ Simpson it will be quiet it will be a- I, I want people to understand this Simpson, sir. Yeah. There, there was there is B-roll I don't know if Eris I want to be your ace today <laughs> I don't know if Aaron still has the B-roll of this. These two motherfuckers were just like Zero to Sean Schemmel at San Diego Comic-Con. Like, oh my God, Sean. Oh, me me, me so and Aaron. <laughs> me and Aaron. It was Aris. funny and endearing. I was kind of jealous that I was, I was well, just. No, what makes it so good is that Sean rolled with it. Like, all right, Mr. Mr. Schemmel, I understand. We see the sayings as black people, and what you what you have done is given us a voice. <laughs> oh God, you know you're not the first people that said that. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Goku. You're the first person that said that. These <laughs> two could these two could have got shot in the head by John Wick, and they would have died happy at that moment. <laughs> Boy, I like. I told Remember Goku we shit. because we told this guy that he was the voice for black people. <laughs> And you know what Sean said? I seen the stats. I think it kind of checks out. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Bro, I just laugh at the fact that Zero, when, it, when Wig's dog came out, is that the dog? Is that the dog? I mean, the dog? <laughs> that is on the level of, of a rock star. That's like a level of rock star. Like, yeah, I always want to meet. Yeah, I always want to meet you. And some girl rolls up to it. Oh man, that's another one, isn't it, man? All nah, right, nah, it's nah. on that same level nah, of nah, like, nah, dude. Nah, dude. <laughs> he is about to go dark. Does this guy know how to party or what? It's huh? Like, huh? Like, you guys, it's like me looking at OJ and he pulls out a butcher knife. It's like, is that the knife? Is that the <laughs> knife? <laughs> no, no. Is when he breaks out the gloves. No, it's the glove. You got to tell me. That you gotta tell me those are, are those isotoners. You, you gotta tell me, man. Are those the gloves? Uh, 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 they don't fit. They don't fit. Ah! <laughs> oh, is that a white Bronco okay. back there? Oh my I God! OJ does that on purpose. Uh, they don't fit. Ah! Oh, if I was OJ, I would cosplay as the worst thing that they think I am. Every single fucking, I will come up there in a white Bronco. All I'm saying is. Mr. Hilton, Sarah, O.J. Simpson for Blurred Con 2024. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I always wanted to do the thing with the nerds because I was a Star Wars fan. And you know what? And look, we sit there here. We sit there here, O.J. talking about Star Wars. is me. He really loves the Star Wars series. He really does. It's interesting. <laughs> Nobody's gonna ask him to kill his wife. Nobody. No, 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 Eric. No, Chris. Chris again. After you sit there, that was an amazing, an amazing interview. It makes the interview. Yeah, I love it, man. Hey, Dad, yeah, I interviewed OJ Simpson. That nigga did it. He's so, oh, he did it. Oh, he did it. 
<laughs> most controversial thing at 3BG we interview OJ Simpson out of all the shit that we've said and done OJ Simpson is the line where everybody's like alright that's it I ain't listening to these motherfuckers they got OJ Simpson on a goddamn podcast fuck these motherfuckers it's like really OJ Simpson was the line <laughs> anyway. anyway anyways nah so John goes up to Winston. Winston has a room that's like all seeing and he makes a joke like, yeah, you know, I have this room so I can actually see everybody and see what they're using and stuff. So see what is in front of me. You know, the- Winston- you see the big LED screen. By oh, me. by the way, um, low key, um, Martell low key sponsors John Wick because that drink is basically shows up in every fucking movie. No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Winston, so Winston basically more or less tells John, so um, you're going to be a bitch for the high table and kill me, <laughs> or you're going to be your own man? It's like, what? like I'll tell you, what, like, but I'll tell you one thing, Jonathan. If I'm going to be killed, I would rather be killed in the hands of a friend than just some random nobody from the high table. Yo, what's the, like, low-key, habitually lying steps, like, I mean, John, no, you could you kill me, but, hey, look, dog, look. you know. <laughs> because it was one of the Are you really oh, free if you kill me? It's like, no, nigga, yeah. I'm going to stand really? for this shit. He's like this, I'm going to fight for this shit, but if one, somebody's going to kill me. You know what, John, I'm glad it's you. Because you're going to do it real quick. I'm right in the middle of the speech right now, and I'm not even going to see it coming. Because <laughs> you get professional. I mean, let's be real. I but gave if, you no, a- no, Hold on, like this. Well, you trying to be a bitch all your life. <laughs> <laughs> like, but let's, like, But let's be real. I gave you an hour, and you managed to escape. It's been but three days, you, Jonathan. I don't know how you. Like, but now you come back. Of, yeah, like, but now, know. like, but now you come back, and this is is how you come back. Are you even free? Mm. Putting a bullet in, like, putting a bullet in, in my head really doesn't solve your problem. Dog, I like how the adjudicator rolls up there and was like, "So, John, I guess you didn't do it, huh?" Well, all right then. I'm gonna have to bring my squad in to clean up this place, and um, yeah. No, see, <laughs> she asked him. So, are you going to do your job, Mister Wick? Are you like, are you going to shoot him in the head? No, I don't think I will. Well, if that's the case, then you will leave me no alternative. The Continental is now. Uh, what is it? Deconsecrated, de- 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 decommissioned, basically. Where yes. basically Winston is no longer there, and they have a clean a, a cleanup squad, which is basically dudes in fucking bulletproof armor, rolling yeah. up in there. She calls. She called the boys. Um, and funny thing, Zero and them are chilling. Got my so, nigga while he's shaving his head right here. He was like, yeah, um, I'm going to bring the hit squad in here. So, um, yeah, you just go on ahead and just do what you do. Now, here's the thing. Commands and bot- non-binary. Now- <laughs> non-binary command. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Now, in the Wick universe, right, you know, like the first movie we saw John, he... Well, as I like to a- call it the Wikiverse. Like in the first movie... You know, John had a bulletproof vest on, and that's how he was able to survive, you know, and all that stuff. So the second movie, we found out that, hey, you know, those suits, they actually have bulletproof liners in and stuff where, not bulletproof, but, you know, they kind of protect them, basically. Kevlar. 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 So, obviously, this third movie, he's rocking the uh, the Elder, hooked him up with a Kevlar suit and such. And he's fighting a squad of guys that are pretty much the uh, juggernauts from fucking Call of Duty. All these niggas got... At least they got the same bullet sponge power of the niggas in battlefield before they do a motherfucker, <laughs> before they do a, a patch, man. Now, Seriously, now, these dudes don't go down for nothing. Now, Sharon and Wick are the only two that survived because Sharon got his group of guys in suits. Oh, and they them niggas got smocked. Hit. Them everybody niggas got, got everybody got everybody got wasted. John is the only one who he's he's kind of calculating and how he shoots them because he's shooting them and it's like staggering them, but it's not killing them. And then he figures out, oh, if I shoot him underneath the helmet, I got him. It's a whole lot of extra steps. Yeah, it, yeah, it's it. a lot. Like he's using their guns to kind of stagger them, but it's not working and stuff. I like, like how- you know, like you know, it was bad when he shot one. Like he shot. I remember he shot one of the dudes in armor. He shot him up like so many times. He's thinking, okay, this guy's 
definitely dead. Nope. But instead, you just heard, oh, like it hurt. What? It hurts. <laughs> it hurts, but he's still alive. <laughs> Open the visor. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Runs back into the room. Now, Winston. Winston. Now, Winston, Winston. I, we need bigger. No, no, no. It was the first time. Winston, I need I bigger, bigger guns. guns. Now, here's the thing. Winston is in there with John Wick's dog. He has a wine glass that has Martell in it. And he's just drinking. Like, yeah, yeah. Got Arby right here. Do what you got to do. This face. He just looks like, jump, like, look around you, Jonathan. There's <laughs> weapons everywhere. Do what you got to do. Oh, uh, but nah, man. My man had a whole remote, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, that damn same door, the way he did it. Like, now, Sharon is me where he's exhausted and he's fed up. He me, and Ares were in, <laughs> me and Ares were in tears because when he took off the jacket, I was like, yeah, that's a frustrated black man. He took off that <laughs> fucking jacket. <laughs> You over here breathing hard, sweating. Frustra- no, frustrated black man took off the jacket, knowing Threw a that shotgun he's- to John. Hold on. Hold on, knowing that he survived while his team just got washed. Threw a he shotgun to took John. Took the shotgun down, gave it to John, picked up one for himself. Up, oh, no wait, hold on. John says improvements, huh? Twelve gauge slugs. Oh, my piercing. Hey, look how serious he is. He all mad, slight vein, slight jaundice in his eyes. <laughs> like, 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 no, let's be no, because hold on, think about it. That is a look of a man who honestly should have been killed with his mm-hmm. team. Yeah. At yeah. least at, at least five times in that, like in the beginning of that fight. That's a nigga that has a fist like I was a child soldier, I would not die here. Bro, bro, <laughs> they loaded up with them fucking shells. John did it up with the automatic loader and shit, which I again I like the attention to detail because he has. Like, I love the, fucking... the way he does. I love the loading way he just slides it one. And it's like yo, it is like he, John. I think we said it too. I'm well, saying this one. He is so calculating with that shotgun because them motherfuckers surgical go that shit. Now, surgical as shit. Now, Eris, we talked about this um before, and um I'm going to bring it up again. Um, CGI blood is needed. Yes, CGI is. blood is needed for one main reason. Now, I'm going to say this because, at least in my opinion, Eris, and if you disagree, I'll let you, you know, after this, but I think the reason why you use it now is because, number one, it's messy as fuck if you really use blood mm-hmm. for all this shit. But mainly, number two, and I don't think you use real blood, I mean, you know, real practical you effects the, you blood. Yeah, you don't use the blood packets. You only do that shit when you're going to hang on a shot to me. Or you want to show how visceral a shot is. Now, yeah, you can necessarily do a little ah, ah, ah with CGI, and it does look vis, little, little, look like it's real and shit. But I noticed with some directors, when they want to have a hanging shot where you can see the wounds and all that shit, that's when you start start seeing blood. I think that I think having that balance makes sense. Now, yes, not all CGI blood is created equal. No, I just thought not. it was very good in this. Um, I thought like they, some, they did it very good in this. No, just I mean, like no, black. Some, you no, see no, the real, good. In, in realness, realness uh, there is CGI blood that did not age well. Oh, God, yes. Well, I mean, let's be real, oh, too. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> there, are, there are scenes in John Wick 1 that's like, yeah, yeah, dude, that was kind of, you can't can, do that with the blood no more. Yeah, that looks the, bad now. But the thing of it is, we forget, too, like, they cgi the muzzle flash in the first movie. Oh yeah, they had yeah. Mm-hmm. They CGI a lot of stuff. And the first movie was weird with the CGI. That's where all the budget came from was CGI in the first one. But I mean, I was fine with it overall because, like I said, it's the simplicity and stuff. But like yeah, this, was, yeah, this this, uh, this type of movie and the way they, they shoot the action and stuff. Yeah, I get why you use CGI in this shit. That's just that's just adding I mean, another two days on the shoot. Now he kills all those guys, and I like how the adjudicator is calling Winston. Like, so there's still time to give up. And he's like, nah, I'm good. I got John and my boy out there. So I'm like, I'm, (laughs) I'm going to say this now. If you really think that you can keep this up, you've got. (laughs) (laughs) This motherfucker. Oh, God, up I do. Hey, Eric, hey, Chris, I do miss the clip when you use that when you flip phones. But there's a satisfaction of finger up. Boop. 
There, but, there, there's, but a, Winston, there's some satisfaction. No, in but that D, too. I but D, that. no, but D, this is the Continental. In Winston's case, he had the old timey phone, that golden phone that that's about this long and hooks. My man just has a has a has the AG Alexander Graham logo on the side. Yes, <laughs> bro, My man, picked it up. Heard about five seconds of that and hung it up immediately. Yeah, like, uh, yes, I can keep this going. This you under, like, I want you to. Un, like, I want bullshit. you. To, I want you to understand. I have. <laughs> you have an army. I have a wick. Dog. Now, what makes it wild is that after this, this is where we see the 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 age of Keanu come full force because when he gets to the top floor, oh. Wait, before My that. Boys wait, 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 Before that, Chris, we're forgetting, <laughs> the, uh, we're forgetting the part that you and I was laughing at the most during that gunfight. The fight that took place in the water. Oh, yeah, they were tussling in the water, they and John finally the got the gun and <laughs> shot the guy in the water. No, but the first, no, the dude in the armor tried to shoot him, and I love how the bullet drop was, like, instant. I'm like, yeah. you're just shooting that shit on her water. Dude, John, John took I love his- how the dude was like, Dude, John grabbed his gun and fucking capped his ass up close. Bop, 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 bop. No, my man Zero and his guys, again, John's knees, Keanu's knees is going out at this point, and John is getting kicked through all that fucking glass. It, it was insane. It was I like insane. It. I love, I love, and something told me, the second he shot the glass, I'm like, Mark Acostos is gonna wag his finger. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> I knew he was gonna wag his finger when he did that. John, there's something so disrespectful about finger wagging. <laughs> You're the bad you guy. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Um, Chris, we I, I listened back to our podcast of Only the Strong. We talked a lot about Mark Acostos, and we got a lot off. I will have to say this now. Whatever we hear, Mark, you knew. When you picked up the phone and your agent said John Wick 3, you said, oh, so that means I can eat the scenery too, right? Yes. <laughs> Do you know how much – I had to learn this. In between the time of us doing that podcast and that, Eris, I mean, Chris, I watched more Iron Chef. Mark DeCoscos does not turn that shit off. He overacts everything perfectly. His most he subtle, is, his him, most, and, his, him and Jim Carrey have that ability to overact, and it's like that's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. His <laughs> subtle, to be honest, Common Rider Dragon Knight is his most subtle. He's, he is so him. No, that and Highlander, they're just he's just a flat line in both of them. It's, yeah. it's just so weird. We got in those me. two series. He's so flat, but in everything else, he's like. Mark knows he's getting paid like a not even a hundred thousand, but he's acting like he is, and I oh, love it. Get to me is that John takes out Zero's guys and then fights the Indonesian dudes, and I like how the Indonesian dudes kick John on the ground, and then they offer to pick him up. Like <laughs> we're fans. <laughs> they said, it's not, "Yeah, nice to meet you, Mister Wick." The second I saw him, I was like, "My nigga, Fleek," and you saw the other nigga. It's an honor to fight with you, Mister Wick. I was like, "Man, dog, let's go, nigga." Let's they got. Go. I like, yo, John Wick meets the raid. This and is then, awful. No, this is what I. But it makes sense. Awful. Gareth Edwards, you know, he like he he's worked on yeah. both of these movies. So come Gareth, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we said it before and let. Yes, Gareth. Yes. <laughs> more. more. Gonna, look, oh. oh, yeah. Let y'all know it. Ray 2, this one below me, we're going to have to put shackles on him. Because the Ray 2, Chris was like, oh, rainbow shot out of his dick. Look, look, it was look, look, look. I wasn't, look. It was me and 15 other black men in that theater at the Hoffman. And we were jerking ourselves in excitement, like, oh, oh, oh. Oh man, oh man, he, look, oh shit. He comes with the, he comes with that baseball oh, bat oh, again, oh, man. Oh, 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 the part that had all had us at full staff, the kitchen fight. Yeah. Oh, the little, the little, the little, the little yeah, yeah, yeah. When they was cooking, <laughs> no, what had me rolling is when they were inching towards each other, we were chuckling like, oh shit, let's go. I'll never forget that I never forget in the kitchen fight. I was watching that with my um uh, my father in law and my father in law. Um, the second he saw them scooting in, he said exactly what he said. They about to fight now. Daddy, here we go. Here we go. Now get this. 
the both of them used their weapons from the raid in, yep. in this fight with Eris, Ron. Eris, that's what I was just about to say. Because when Bad Dog took out that little child, ah, 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 let's go, let's go. I was excited. As oh, soon as I saw yeah. both of them with their knives, I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, 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 they, oh, li- they, they, like, they straight picked them out one by one from the raid and brought them into this movie. Johnny Boy was like, oh, you got knives? I got this uh, leather belt from Men's Warehouse. About to go. I like <laughs> how. Warehouse. I like how. I like how. Belt cutters and profession and doing an angle slam was the way he got out of this. I love it. I love Me? how that nigga went Kurt Angle with that slam and right through the glass. I'm like, yes. John also, uh, and after this very very intense fight. He let them go, and custom, responded yeah, in Indo- yeah, and let them uh, and responded in Indonesian. Be seeing you now. Just a question, y'all. This is just D. This is just D. Does anybody come back in the fourth one? No, nobody. Okay, now yeah, I got to go. Nobody now, from this one. Now, 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 this is just this is just D. I noticed that he let some people go throughout this whole series. Is that a sign of the writers or the director saying, "I love these niggas." I'm gonna let them live. I think so. Or, or yeah. is it some type of little loop around of it's this going to show up in the story? Or I don't. I know. feel I don't it's know. two things. One, they like these characters to where if they do a spinoff, or whatever, we see them again in some way, shape, or form in some in some difference. Like, I look us to this day. Tom is still being alive at the end of two when he gave him that professional courtesy. Like, hey, you take that knife out, you did. So do with that what you will. Professional courtesy. And Connor just has that shit eating grin like, Man. okay, John, touche. Touche. I retired rap for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> and then these two dudes, it's like, yeah, you're fighting because your boss is here. I need to get to your boss. We're good. Be Underst- seeing you. <clears throat> understand. Understand. <laughs> We thought we were going to take it easy because, number one, you've been out the game. You've been retired for five years. And, you know, my partner here thinks that you're moving slow, John. (laughs) Don't make me look bad, you know, because I I personally couldn't wait to fight you. And I'm glad we're having this fight right now. Both of us are are running this fade. But please, make it interesting. That's that's all I got to say. Make it interesting. John's old age was catching up to him in that fight leading up to him because, like I said, I'm pretty sure John rubbed some fucking icy hot on his knees before he got got <laughs> popping. Because well, I feel dear- like I feel like he took a nano machine injection or something, man. <laughs> Bro, like I don't understand how. Like in the movie like this, and I was telling myself in a movie like this, yeah, John is going to be a fucking bullet sponge. A lot of people are going to be be damaged sponge. So why you gonna go about it? I was like, you got a Batman, him. and how you got a Batman? Him? Batman means he takes a lot of damage. Why are you standing? How are you standing? Actually, you know what, D? It reminds me of, uh, you remember the first episode of Arrow when Oliver got back to the island and Doctor was like, I don't understand how your son's alive. He got lacerations on his back. (laughs) He got fucking three broken bones that didn't heal properly. Like, how the fuck is this kid alive? Like, and that's John right there. He's Oliver Queen. Like, he got fucked up pretty bad. He still got a bruised kidney still walking around not pissing blood how the hell is this working like damn i just like i didn't like it let me remember when bruce when you're like yeah bruce your back is like built like a 70 year old i don't think you should be- <laughs> <laughs> they got adamantium fucking skeleton at this point god damn like like that was oh like, man sir, sir sir this is the, like no man should go through this we're making this movie real, so we got to, you know, you're not Batman no more. You're like a real life Batman now. So, you well, know, yeah, well, of D. course, this is stupid. Your disc and your back are have evaporated, sir. Well, well, D, well, D, you know, real life Batman, he got his back broken by Bane. All you have to do is just punch him in the back and it, it fixes itself right there, you know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was the funniest shit ever. Ah, yes, there you go. Bah, ah, there you go, you're fixed. <laughs> Like, what? You good? You good? All right. <laughs> John and Zero's fight is exactly what I expected it to be. Um, Again, Keanu's a little slow. so Because, look, Mark Costco's is on 10. Keanu's at a 7. So it's like Mark has to kind of slow it down just a little bit to be on Keanu's level to make the fight believable. You know? I like now. Now, quick question, y'all. They are both, they're both pretty much the same age. But who is older, Mark or Keanu? I say Mark is older. 
Yes, Mark is 59, Keanu is 58. I'm sorry, what? Wait, wait, wait. Keanu Reeves is older than 50 years old. Yeah. Keanu Reeves he was 50. is 58 years old. D, he was, D, he Keanu was, Reeves. D, he was 50 when the like when he did the first one. 50 Eight guys, years guys, old. Guys, we, we've said this before. Genetics is weird. Morgan Freeman was like forty-five way back when he did when he was with Christopher Reeves and was it Street Smarts or whatever and shit. He slapped that fucking that chick and shit. He's like, <laughs> so, fuck he, he was fifty years old at that point. So I mean, he was he stayed fifty even when he did Kiss the Girls. And I'm like, nigga, you old as shit and Kiss the Girls, but no. Lawrence right, Fish. Cool. Meanwhile, Lawrence Fishburne is six, Fishburn is sixty-one years old. Divorced Gina Torres because his back gave out during sex in 2010. He was like, "I act where I want to act." In. She was like, "Fine, I'm gonna have mediocre success on USA." Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. And I don't know. They had black sex. What the fuck, I Dylan know. McDermott? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, city, wait. <laughs> Yo, but nah, Z- uh, Zero and Wick's fight is dope as shit. And, you know, Wick wins because he does. And at this point, I like how this nigga still, Zero has a full on, full on katana in his whole chest. chest. <laughs> Be seeing you, John. Sorry. Just had to catch my breath. <laughs> when he said that, I. You. Ah. It's like, I'll catch up with you, John. No, you won't. Yeah. Um, now, yeah. part of me said this. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Let me catch my breath. So, uh, we end up finding out. Slump over. <laughs> so, the adjudicator and Winston, them are on the roof, and John gets there, right? And the adjudicator realizes that by showing for- a show of force and protecting the Continental, that's a way to parlay to the high table to show allegiance. And yep. she's like, all right, your fealty's back. We see you. Bro, did you love the Weebay face that she made when she, when she figured it out? <laughs> she goes, wait a minute. You were demonstrating your power like, like, by, like by showing that you're willing to protect the Continental no matter what. All right, I thought you huh, figured so, that out. Thought you like, would have so figured that, that out the second y'all started shooting bullets at like, me. Okay. Like, oh, like, okay, okay, okay. Fealty, you know, like fealty granted. We'll, par- I we'll parlay. Like, like, we'll parlay. We, we I understand. I get you. What about him? What about uh, him? Yeah. What about him. Mr. Like, what about John Wick? Oh, I'm afraid he has to die. Pop. pop, pop, pop. <laughs> now I want Look, you to notice. I'm notice sorry, Jonathan. I'm sorry, notice Jonathan. I paused it right as the bullet hit him dead in the chest, right there. <laughs> Bruh. In the theater. Now, look, um, John has taken hits and has fell off things, but this was probably the most brutal of falls. This dude fell 13 stories, bounced off the fire thing, hit the corner of the fucking dumpster, and hits the ground. Any other person did. John barely breathing. John, No, this is clearly Keanu Reeves uh, showing us that he is probably one of the biggest fans of Spike Spiegel ever. Take a, took a, just someone who can just take an absurd amount of punishment. He took a fucking WWE and still live. Bump. Hey, hey, look, look. I like how this bitch just saw Bishop getting shot off the roof, and she's like, mm, "All right, <laughs> no, no." But then turns around and was like. So uh, Mr. John's body is not on the ground. Wait, 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 wait. This is for Eris. This is for Eris. Eris. Satisfied Mr. and non-binary. <laughs> Stop it. No. <laughs> she comes back to him after after uh, like because when first like first of all, Sharon is asking, um, so sir, how, how like how do you th- I mean how long do you think it would take for us to be back in operation? Oh, given everything that has taken place here. I imagine we should be back on the up and running uh, within the week. I'm like, damn, dude. Okay, all right, that was qu- that's quick. She comes running back. Mister Wick is gone. A true tragedy. <laughs> you misunderstand. <laughs> His body isn't there. They're like you misunderstand. His body is not on the street. Yes, no, 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 no. We're like, His body's not on the street. Yes, yes, it's taken up by. I heard he was actually Christian. <laughs> 
like, I love how now I love how he again. More than Lebanon, like, he was actually no, I, Christian. I didn't see that one coming. No, I love how he plays dumb with it and goes. I mean, he is. I mean, he's just one man. How far could he? Have, how far could he go? I think the funniest <laughs> shit ever that he should have said was, "Ah, no take backsies." <laughs> She goes, you better hope that this does not reach the high table or you better do something about this. Look, let me tell you something. Um, like, when I you end, we will see to that. When you end your movie, go? when you end your movie with Lawrence Fishburne cut up the hell and saying, you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of this bullshit ass high table. I'm pissed it's off funny. and angry. John, are you wait, angry? Wait, 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 wait. First of all, let me tell you something. If you're gonna cut a motherfucker, you better cut him to the quick. No, you're gonna cut a king. You better like you're cut gonna, that's right. You better you, if you're gonna cut a king, you better cut him to the quick. I know one thing. I am pissed the hell oh, off. Drinking his fanta what, out of straw. By the way, what, what about you, John? You pissed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now I want everybody to notice they echoed the yeah. There was an echo in there. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Now, now, now I have to put you in the movie. Now I have to point this out here. Um, shout out to the cinema villains. Um, Shaggy brought up a point about John Wick being a horror villain. And you know what? Gotta agree with Shaggy on this one because number one, I heard it too. I agree with you, Shaggy. He is a horror villain. You can't bar you cannot bargain with John. Mm-mm. You can't no. with John. No, you can't. He's the Baba Yaga, obviously. He kills everything that comes in his way. And it's like and much know. and much like a horror villain, they give grace when you do not see it coming. It's uh, again did, just, hold on. Just, did he, now I, I there was another person. Did he let uh, Ruby Rose go? Uh, Ruby go? No, he killed he her. She's dead. No, he, he, no. he killed her in the second one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He didn't I, 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 want I, I, to. I, I, I thought she lived. I, I no, thought, no, yeah. they, no, remember, he didn't want to. But no, yeah. just, just to show you how much of a horror villain uh, John is, let's take it back to the first movie. When John Leguizamo is willing to go against, the, not even go against, when he's willing to slap the Russian mob, open palm slap across the face, and answer to the mob boss, his simple response Sir, the reason why I slapped your son was because he took Mr. Wick's car and killed his dog. When the Russian mob responds with, oh, oh and hangs up. <laughs> now, <laughs> because we were no, establishing the world here, mob. John Lick was on, let's tell you, let me just give some magnitude to that. John Lick was, with all the shit we've seen in here, John Lick was on was like level one. Of yeah, all yeah. of this bullshit, and that nigga said that nigga touched John Wick. Oh shit! Yeah, shit. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Is, no, see, first of all, that's why he asked the question. Remember, he asked that question. So, first of all, what are you doing with this car? Why is yeah. it here in my shop? Get it out of my shop. You know what? The guy you got, or the guy you took this car from? What? Did you kill him? No, I didn't kill him. I fucked up his dog. <laughs> you fucked up his wait, dog. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. You, you fucked up his dog. That, that, dog. That's what you did? <laughs> Man, that's some crazy shit, dude. <laughs> oh, you getting this fade. Slap! <laughs> Get your shit out of my car. <laughs> I like what Josh Hoy. He that way. He that way. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the thing. That, over there. Over there. <laughs> here's the thing, dude. Hey, John, you know I like you, nigga. Because <laughs> like, that's how, but that, that just goes to show you. The level of danger when it comes to John, when it comes to messing with John Wick, but when you're willing to go, when you're willing to step to the Russian, like the Russian mafia, and <laughs> and even to, and tell them why you did it too. But but even when then, your though, reason, like we saw, oh, when your reason is somebody did this to John Wick and let him live. Oh, I just like how there's niggas you're in the, in the clear. I like how there's niggas in the Russian mob. That knew, oh, he came out to school where Morticia was teaching at, right? Oh, oh damn, yeah. fuck. No, not even that, though. <laughs> not even that, though. Like, by the time you get to the third movie, even the high table knows how dangerous that motherfucker is because there's a line where Winston was like, you gonna kill the fucking high table? Eris uh, said a line all the way back in, oddly enough, um, 
light it up. My favorite episodes that we did. Eris was talking about how the principal didn't know his star students. And he said, that's a, that's a poor, poor sign of leadership when you don't know who your star pupils are and all the rest of that shit. Yep. You got damn right the high table know who John was. <laughs> Because like you said, he's a disruption. Him, Winston, you know, Winston and Bowery can go disruptions, but John is really a disruption because it's like, this motherfucker, if he could, could kill all of us. You can get enough people to kill Winston. You can get enough people to kill with Bowery King. You know, you can get enough of that. You have an X Factor called John Wick, who is a human fucking tornado of death. So, and remember what Winston said before the fight inside the whole, before the gunfight inside the Continental in this movie. Oh no, sorry. It it was at the beginning when uh when the excommunication started. We have everybody in the like everybody in under the high table is all after that um uh, that bounty. I believe that the odds are 50 50. The odds are about even. <laughs> I hate the like now. I like how in an action Trump movie, all three of us hear that we go shut the fuck up. Because they always say, yeah, <laughs> he can walk all the way from Alaska to Peru with $14 and kill all these. Like, they'll do all that with Stallone. I mean, not Stallone, I mean, uh, 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 Seagal. And we're like, shut up. There was not even much hype with Bubba. We just see what he did. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 y'all about 50 50. Because <laughs> I mean, the first, like I said, I'm the giving first, the odds 50 50. Because the first movie was like, all right, this is the pause. Like, we see him kill, he's an assassin. That's a assassin. He's just a kid, really right? good assassin. The second sec- movie yeah. was like, oh, shit. Oh, he's a really good assassin. I, the third movie, this nigga's a goddamn problem. The third, no, the third I movie, I think they John knew, is un, and I, he is unhinged. And I think that's the whole thing. I think that's, and that's why it's important to really establish when you're sequel and what message they're going to put out there because the second movie was just that oh john is really literally the fucking boogeyman he really is killing everything so by the time you get to the third movie you see why the high table is over there over there all right man somebody's i mean somebody go new york (laughs) john's doing it for the love of the game folks all right (laughs) john wick no look john wick is the 300 Spartans <laughs> versus Xerxes and all of Persia. <laughs> but yet, no hold on, look. hold on. But here's the trick. He survives at the end. I'm just mad that you said that, Chris. I'm so mad you said he that. Yes, he is. It's like, dog, no, it's like killing is just like, it's like a reflex, like, bah, bah, bah. It's like, damn, this guy just, no, no. This is not what you said. One of my favorite lines in Batman Forever was at the very end. Why won't you just like, die? No, it was why can't I kill, kill you? you? Oh yeah, that means they kill you. I think the details though. Here's the details of the gunfight that I like. Right, we say he's bulletproof, but I like the details of him literally raising up his jacket to shield himself as he's shooting at oh, times. Because, no, because they know shoot him in the face. Yeah, shoot him in the face. Yeah. I think, and I think a lot of people, and I think the one inspiring thing I love in this was the fact that. Um, not to say that it doesn't happen in real life because of course it does, but I think a lot of us played Call of Duty, Battlefield, or whatever we have, and pow, 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 click, click, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> they did that like three times in this movie. <laughs> I feel I you know what though, like I said, I've shot guns before, but I feel to be in that line of work, you gotta have your head on a swivel like times a hundred and, and just to. instinctually just bam, you're killing somebody without like no hesitation. That's why I laugh at people that says uh, that that look at sharpshooters like, oh man, he's awesome. I'm like, that's a fat guy that just standing stationary. Tell that nigga to run. <laughs> They're like, don't tell, do him, that. tell him to do this and see what happens. <laughs> Yo, you see those fat white guys that be like sharpshooting? Yeah, they're awesome. They're awesome. They get stop out bad. That's nice. Hey Earl, won't you just do this? Run into the side and do that. Show me if you can do that. Yeah, there's a reason why you weren't in the army, nigga. <laughs> reason why SWAT isn't kicking down your door asking the, you to join. This is the reason why. This is the reason why the Davenport, uh, the Davenport police force was like, "Hey, Earl, you want to like, you know, we got to talk about your weight because you can't be a cop." <laughs> 
and uh, and be in this type of shape. No, it's not that you're a big guy. Look, J- James is a big guy. Yeah, I'm a big guy. But what does James do? I do my PT. He does his PT. We, this we, is what and, we're talking about. Because even at, look, we talk about people of different sizes. Hell, even in John Wick too, that sumo dude that went at John, the Samoan guy. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, but we was talking about it in that movie that like, yeah, sumo wrestlers are very strong <laughs> dudes, and they are like, don't let the doughy, don't let the doughiness and the fact that he's Japanese fool you. No, that nigga can go. Yeah, <laughs> he's so, like a freaking linebacker. He's he's gonna hurt you. Um, hopefully soon when D watches John Wick four. We could talk about John Wick Four because oh oh, we're oh. Talk, Chris, we're probably gonna talk about it next year. <laughs> you sure about that? You look, 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 I look, look. look, look hey, the, hey, we audible on, hey, we audible on Predator, and we and that it worked out for us on That's that. That's what I'm saying. That's not happening. By the time you come back, we're gonna talk, guys. About John Wick Four, we gotta talk about this. Look, look, we did it with look, look. That's why I said don't say never because we did it with Predator, we did it with Batman last year, so. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Chris. I'm not promising nothing. Hey, hey, hey. Your smile Aris. on your face is like, Aris. like, Aris. like, like Jack Nicholson see, going, yeah. Oh, yeah, because me and Eris was looking at each other like, D needs to see this shit. And as soon as you sat there, it was like, oh, what's it? It's like, oh, boy. Oh, baby. Oh. I, I was like, look, he, I said, look, I don't care what he's got to do. He needs to see this movie because I'm not sitting around waiting forever for us to talk about it. Everybody's already done talked about it except us. Whew. Man, it, it's you. Yeah. But John Wick Three, man, I, I love it. it. It's it's funny enough because I know a lot of people, as much as they love John Wick Two, they weren't fond of the heavy story emphasis. But I didn't mind that because I think you had you needed John Wick Two to kind of establish the stakes of what John Wick One didn't really touch on that much, you know. So now you get three. It's like all right, let's get back to the action at three, and then you know, boom, everybody loved it. So. I mean, like I said, three was dope, and all right, oof, uh, still so holds up. Still holds. I up. have to. I have to ask you guys what you want to do: sequel, one of our do overs, or you want to do an anime? What y'all want to do? Whoa, anime just to break up the monotony. Yeah, Aris, and, anime. Is, and, is it a series or a movie? Oh, just a movie. Just a okay. movie. Okay, it's a movie that we know very, 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 very well that we never actually did a full review for. Ironically, I actually looked at that. That is Street Fighter 2. Less. We less. Never less. fucking shit, man. Less. This, less. This, less. Let's fucking go. This guy right here last year at Otakon bought the Street Fighter 2 movie, animated movie on Blu ray that has the multi different ways of watching it. You uh, can watch the awesome. you can watch Sir. the different dubs, the different subs, the different music, Sir. the American or the original one. It's so many ways you can remix that movie for yourself. I personally, personally, my sons are big fans of Street Fighter. I can't wait. I can't wait. They never seen that movie. But here's my older son. Hey Dad, what about like what about Alpha? You don't want no parts of Street Fighter Alpha. Yep, that one. Yes, that is sir. The, this that is the folks you can find on White Stuff. It is the definitive version of Street Fighter Two, the anime. This is legit the only way to watch this movie. I would say this I one, mean, and I would say this one, and if you can buy Akira because Akira has three different dubs on that one. Yes, it does. The yeah, the Akira on 4K is. Uh, Make sure no, and make sure you get the correct one because Funimation screwed up when they initially uh, released the, the when they initially like when they initially dropped the 4K. They said they advertised, oh, 4K HDR, 4K HDR. Anyone who bought it when it first dropped, no HDR was found. So, <laughs> so sounds about st- fun. No, so Funimation, <laughs> Funimation, sounds, funny. All- sounds funny. <laughs> Sounds funny to me. So Funimation, admitting fault, said, listen, provide a, you know, just show proof, receipt. We will send you the actual one. See, Sue, I thought you were going to uh, say, well, you know, I'll take a chance. 
I, I was on. Nah, I was on. No, see, I, I was, nah, they good with the. They good with the cut. They got. They good with the cut. No, 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 no. See, for me, to me, I was like, well, that stopped me altogether from buying it, and I just said, I'm just gonna wait until they started putting them in rotation, and which eventually they did. So, um, uh, so I got one because I was either gonna do that or. Or I was just gonna say, hey, let me go ahead and be the uh, 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 the let me go ahead and be the asshole real quick. Amazon <laughs> Japan, I go straight to Amazon Japan and buy the real 4K HDR version. Uh, get the physical copy, let it come with the uh, the freaking poster and everything like I did with Venus Wars. But eh, I just never got around to it. And eventually, it sold out, and I just said, screw it. Yeah. yeah, see? Yeah, thank you. Yes. Thank you. But, but, but hopefully Sue has this up. Uh, our man Bo Billingsley voices DJ in that movie, and uh, Eric should have yeah, an interview up uh, from Otakon. Fun oh my guy. God. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, fun guy. Uh, but it was, look, Bo, Bo voicing DJ in the most hi, Bo, bye, Bo ever is fucking hilarious. It was like, and, fly, and fly by night. Like, here he fly is. Fly by night. And um, we're going to end the episode like this, and I can tell you right now, guess who else does that? Brian Cranston. Yes! yes. Brian Cranston. Brian and Cranston Faye does that in that movie, too. He plays Fay Long. He plays the Asian man. Good night, everybody! See you <laughs> later! <laughs> <Three> <laughs> <play> <laughs> geeks! <laughs>